Hey, Samantha. Good evening. Welcome to the Lies of P stream. How are you all doing? My name is Arx underscore Hydra. Like I said, we're starting Lies of P tonight, which I'm very excited for because I've heard such good things. How are you doing? Happy Sunday, everyone. Hope you've had a good day and you're having a good weekend. How are you doing? Uh, what's going on? What video games have you been playing? What have you been up to? Anyone go out today or did you all spend it in? Eat good food? Go shopping? How's it going, everyone? What's up, Hexmatron, Muriel, Batadar, Amphirite, Lucifer, Arcturus, Jaco the Great Wizard, Batadar, Cat Cat, BJ Birdie, Element OP, Lauren J, Janie, Toa Sim. Oh, that might just be a note that you couldn't stick around, Toa Sim. Well, if you're watching the VOD, I'm sorry that the timing doesn't work out for you, and I hope you're having a good one. Wherever you are right now, sleeping or doing something else. Hey, Aloy, Unknown, Bill or something, Zachary, Blake, Rosie, Xavier Rain. What's up, Braddock? Good to see you. Doing good. This is my writing background for the afternoon. Oh, I'm just happy to be a part of the process. Based Hollow Knight enjoyment. Currently cutting onions. Have goggles on? You're doing it underwater. Are you using one of those special knives? Or are you just dealing with the tears? I'm trying to remember if I've ever cried cutting onions. I don't think I have, but to be honest, I don't do a lot of cooking. And so, you know, it's not like there's been a whole lot of times to think back on. It's definitely irritated my eyes, though. What's up, Apop? Good to see you. Happy Sunday, friendo. Gonna be a good one tonight? You just fixed the furnace. Congratulations. I have a big old important tool on the way to me. That's what that reminded me of. I've got a pipe wrench coming. I posted about this in Discord, but I ordered myself a very unnecessarily expensive and fancy pipe wrench to fix my sinking chair. It's literally on the way to me right now. I have the um, tracking page open because it's like it's five stops away and I don't know. I probably don't need to run off in the middle of the stream and pick it up, but I almost want to. We'll see what happens when it arrives. Maybe the game will be so good I'll forget all about it. That seems likely. I'll wait until it's in my hand to tell you why I find this entertaining, but I already, like I said, I posted about this on Discord already. Oh, another thing about Discord, the contest I've been talking up to predict the winners of the Game Awards, we've already got 30 people in, Samantha. Last year, I think we had 17 or 18 total. 17, I think. So that's pretty fucking exciting. I can't wait. If you haven't heard, we're going to be streaming the Game Awards together for whoever's free on December 7th, which is a Thursday, 7.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time in the evening. I swear it was like middle of the afternoon one year, but it's late, late. It's going to be tough for people in the U.K. and Europe and especially further east. But people are predicting the winners in Discord. And whoever gets the most right answers gets to be the video game oracle for a year. It'll be our third time doing this. First time catching the stream. Awesome vids and shorts. Love your energy. Thank you so much, Faircry. I hope you enjoy the stream as well. Thank you for watching. It's very kind of you. Happy Sunday, friend. This is actually the first game you've ever played blind, and it's great. I'm late. Not yet. You've been playing some Dark Souls 3 again, thanks to your streams. Enjoying some nice cold kombucha. That sounds delightful. Been playing Dark Souls 3 all day and getting killed by Dancer all day. I can't, I, I feel like I got lucky. I feel like I got off very easy in my replay of Dark Souls 3 with the Dancer fight. I, I, okay, I can only wish you luck. I hope it turns around for you. Target shooting before this? Cool. Is your first stream of yours where I don't know the game? Then we will learn together. We have a Discord from time to time. Pipe wrench for a chair. Yeah, so the problem is, you'll probably see me awkwardly have to like raise the chair up again several times. You've already seen it happen a lot if you've watched any stream recently. The gas cylinder in the chair that raises and lowers it, I think it's just like weakened. And very imperceptibly slowly, I am sinking. I'm getting shorter right now and not just because I'm a 57 year old man. I'm not just losing bone mass, though I probably am. No, 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 the gas cylinder is just letting go. And so you can buy those and replace them. Apparently, I, I tried to do a little research on which is the one for my chair, but I've got a weird knockoff chair it's hard to find information on. And apparently they're all quite standard. There's maybe a couple sizes. So I think I got one that fits. We'll see. Um, but getting the old one out, like they're not really made to come out. 
they just wedge into the base on almost all chair models. Just a friction fit of like your weight over time melds them. And then the top like puncture clicks. It's, I can't describe it, but it's, it fits somehow. It's not meant to come apart easily. And two of the guides out of like three or four I watched on how to change it, um, we're like, well, if you can rotate the thing and grip it and like, you can you can start to loosen it from the chair itself. And one of them recommended using a pipe wrench. And then I went down this rabbit hole of researching the best pipe wrench, which is not, not something I needed to do. Aziz Ansari has this joke about needing to buy a toothbrush. And two hours later, sort of coming to his senses that he's been researching for two hours, the best toothbrush. And I think about that often when I do things like that. So. Why is Baxter behind me spilling coffee? Because he didn't get a lid for his pumpkin spice latte. The fool. He knew he was going back out in space. He just didn't think ahead. Oh, Baxter. We're not going to have this Baxter here on stream for much longer. I'm using quarters of the year as seasons with regards to the seasonal Baxters. And so winter to me, is going to be December, January, February. So December, we're getting a new Baxter. And we have a break coming up. Okay, we're going to do Guess the Game, and we're going to get to Liza P. I'm going to move right through those things. But now that I've reminded myself, let me tell you one more important thing to know. This coming week is Thanksgiving here in the U.S. Uh, the actual holiday is Thursday. I will be going to my mom's house to spend it with my family from early Wednesday right through next week a week from this coming week like tuesday or something so this coming week i will only be around monday and tuesday evening tuesday is the only like evening i usually stream i'll be here for i'm thinking of streaming monday and tuesday tomorrow and tuesday or just tuesday but doing a chill uh holiday week stream because and partly because what i really want to do is i want to play Viewfinder and or Cocoon. Those are two 3D puzzle games that came out recently, and I think both of them, at least Viewfinder, is up for a Game Awards award, and I've just heard such good things about Cocoon. I really want to play them, and I think I could beat them in one chunky stream. So, this week's going to be a bit different coming up. That's my plan. Baldur's Gate 3 Cyberpunk More Lies of P will be, uh, after tonight, will be... Uh, a week away. Just the way it goes. Fuck, I can't believe Thanksgiving is next week. Sounds fun. Cute hoodie, thank you. You seen some of Viewfinder and it looks so good? Have you played Baba Is You? Yes. I love Baba Is You. It is such a golden idea. It's so well realized in that game. I very quickly got to a point where I wasn't smart enough to play that game without using my full attention and brain, which is hard for me to do. Um, and even then, I'm not sure I could have gotten further, much further beyond that point. I kind of want to go back to it, but if I never do, I absolutely feel I got my money's worth with the time I spent on it, but it is beyond me, possibly. Yeah, Abba's use a great game. He's in space. Yes, he is. He is in space. Both the seasonal Baxters, the regular Baxter in my background here, and the background itself were done by my friend Skullboy, aka Better Legends. Fantastic artist I went to college with. That's where I met him. Still good buds. I think it's supposed to be Steam, but Hydro would have to answer that. He can't go to the bathroom then. <laughs> Don't you know how those suits are built? Hey, Lollipop, good to see you. Playing through Dark Souls 2, just beat Mytha, the Baneful Queen. Didn't know about the windmill. Hope you're well. And uh, you enjoy the game, Hydro? Yes, Mytha. Hope you're all well as well. Okay, let's get to guess the game so we can get to Liza P. Let's do this. Let's do this. Guess the game is something we do every stream to let me warm up to being in front of the microphone and on camera. It's a lot of fun. We are trying to guess the game in these images. Our only extra rule is if you 100% know the answer, don't shout it out immediately. Give other people a chance to guess just for the hell of it. We will come back to you if we have not gotten it by guess number six, because guess number six is the last game uh, guess we get for each game, and I don't like losing. All right? What the fuck is this? Anything less than 100% certainty, please. What do you think it is? Help me. Looks like a DS game. Honestly, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could it be Monster Hunter of some kind? Something about the visual design reminds me of Monster Hunter, but I played uh, a bit of three, a lot of four. I played Generations. I don't actually recognize this. You think Zelda vibes? 
New guess the game title today? That's right. Let me double check here. Yeah, yeah. One win and we're getting a new title. Wait, what the fucking what? Why are we five off now? What is going on with this website? Don't worry about that right now. Spirit Tracks. Let's try Spirit Tracks. The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. It's not that. This game has an 86 on Metacritic. This is feeling less Zelda to me now, and... I, I don't think it's Monster Hunter either, though I did hesitate for a sec because maybe this is a design on some piece of fabric hung over a shop wall, but I highly doubt it. What is this? Anything less than 100% certainty? Love that. Rigged? What's up, Romy? Good to see you. You played like three DS games, no clue? It might not be DS. Looks like that blob game on PS3. That blob game on PS3. Patapon? That was PSP, right? Could this be Patapon? I've only seen a little bit of Patapon. This doesn't seem Patapon to me, this eye. I could believe this map. I could definitely believe this. I don't know enough about the game to say. Could it be Patapon? We started Bloodborne yesterday. Thanks for recommending. It's amazing. Didn't reach the second lantern and lost 6k somewhere. I'm glad you're enjoying so far. I hope that continues. Yeah, Bloodborne's fantastic. Which weapon did you start with, out of curiosity? Which of the three starting weapons? I think all three are good, but I've got a favorite and a second favorite, most definitely. Patapon sounds like a good idea. Let's try it. Someone's making a spiritual successor to Patapon called, like, Ratatat or something. It really, in every way, it's clear they're aping Patapon to my untrained eyes. And it's Patapon! I'd be excited to try that. I've enjoyed what I've seen of Patapon, at least. Got it in two. Originally PSP, genre music, RTS Strat. Originally released in 2008. Developer, SCE Japan. Pyramid. I love the graphics of it, too. Patapon's so neat. If you don't know Patapon, this is like a rhythm strategy game. It's hard to describe. Let's do a couple previous days. And then we'll check the title. Let's be patient. Let's be calm. We're waiting on checking the title. All right. What is this? Oh, this is detailed. Is this? Is this a high up camera? Like, like, I don't know, Desperados 3 or something? Just to pick a game randomly that has a high up camera? Or is this? What is this? MGS5? Have we not already had MGS5? Did MGS5 have this much, um, foliage thickness? Fallout New Vegas, Metal Gear. Well, we got two guesses for Metal Gear. Let's try Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, not Ground Zeroes. I mean, it might be, but I'm going to guess because I've played a little Phantom Pain and I know it's got desert-y environs like this. Phantom Pain, if it's one of them. It's not MGS5 Phantom Pain, and I don't think it's MGS. What is this, though? Metacritic score 86%. It's pretty good, so it's not Babylon's Fall. What about Godfall? What about... For, uh, this, this image here is giving me Techno Gods looter action game vibes or something. What is this? Doesn't look like New Vegas, too detailed. Diablo 3. This is like some fantastical shin guards. Diablo 3 or Destiny, some kind of staff. Destiny. I think it's Destiny? Or Destiny 2, right? Or Destiny 1? Destiny 2. It's not Destiny 2. I'm willing to believe this is Diablo 4. Who is this? Oh, this could be what the character select screen looks like. This camera angle, if it was Diablo, was making me think cutscene. But maybe this is the character select screen. I've beaten Diablo 4. The story and then quit playing it. And I don't recognize this. So that uh, character select screen though is very possible. Let's try Diablo 4. It's too bad Blizzard and Activision suck and Diablo 4 is at best the mo oh, they gave it Diablo's uh font. Dude, the the font of everything on this page just changed. Even down here, which is unreadable now. I wish Diablo 4 was good. It's not. 
I haven't played with all the patches and changes they've made, but it wasn't when I played. It was fun enough to do the story with my friends, and I fucking love the story. <sighs> but that just made me more sad. You can get ears in four? For a second, I thought this was an AI upscaling of my inventory from two. <laughs> this is cool, cool. Slightly better, but still not great. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this game. All right, that's two, right? Let's do one. Oh, you can see screenshot sources. That's a neat new button. Let's go do one more past day. Check out our new title and then on to Lies of P. Samantha, what is this? It's very dark. Uh, Scorn? Um, Dante's Inferno. Uh, uh, what's the name of it? Um, the, 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 uh, Evil Within 2. Just because, uh, the, the, there's like melting wax stuff. What is this? Are you just memeing Scorn or are you agreeing it might be Scorn? Devil May Cry? Which one? Which one? Dante's Inferno? I'll try Dante's Inferno. I think this looks better than I remember Dante's Inferno looking. Nope, it's Dante's Inferno. Done in one! Easy fucking game! We're so good at this! Think I'm right with Dante's Inferno? I'll be honest, I threw that out because the art style seemed right. I don't remember Dante's Inferno having this much detail in it. Dante's Inferno was a neat game. I wish I'd gotten along better with it. But the combat was so, so frustrating. And the art I would describe as trying at times, intentionally so. It is meant to challenge and disgust you, and it's good at it. It is good at it. I mean, they chose very carefully when putting together these images. It's like the final boss fight. This looks grand enough to be. Wow. Way to spoil a game from 13 years ago. Come on now, guess the game. All right, you ready for our new title? Prodigious Game Guesser. I was ready to like read that real loud and give it a little something. And I like the word prodigious, but my eyes first landed on guesser. And I don't know, you'd really have to dress up the word guesser to be, we're over 500, let's focus on that. 502 up, 502 one, streak of 502, fuck yeah. And, ooh, another nice round number, up to 160 done in the first guess. Well done, Samantha. Another perfect day. We're incredible at this. Not as cool as Champion of the Six Screens. Not at all. Had roughly 50 copies sent to the store of Dante's Inferno. I worked at Blockbuster when Inferno came out, and every single copy came back the same day it came out. Jeez. So, no Night of the Twelve Screensavers. Bad. Oh well, the game itself is what matters, and we're good at it! All right, Samantha, I've already sunk like a few inches. It feels like. Man, I felt like it happened fast. It really is imperceptible while I'm sitting here, but it feels like it happened fast. Where is that pipe wrench and replacement? Where is it? Three stops away. They're literally a couple blocks. I'm probably pointing almost directly at them. Actually, a little more this way. I'm probably within 10 degrees of them. Chair repair live on stream? No one gives a shit. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get to Liza P. Thank you for your guesses, Samantha. We are undefeated despite what the stats say. And that wouldn't be possible without you. Now then, Liza P. I think you probably all generally know what this game is. So let's get right to it and see how it goes. I opened this to make sure it was capturing, and I tried to balance the audio a bit, but game menus are usually quieter than the actual game. So as we go along, please let me know if the audio is way the fuck off, way too loud, way too quiet. Uh, I'll do my best to rebalance it. Yeah? Yeah. How'd you compile shaders? You did that last time. Do you have to compile shaders every time you open? Jeez. 
Harry chair. Let's go. That would be novel for sure, mostly because it implies you'd be wearing pants. I got pants on right now for the first time this season. <laughs> yeah, it is a new development, but still. So hyped to see the nose growing ultimate attack. Just saying, I'd be down for live chair repair. Excited for Lies of P, been wanting to play it myself, just haven't gotten around to buying it yet. Okay, uh, I think I already went through the settings and everything. Uh, what is additional content real quick? Okay. Fair enough. New game. The metal fringing those gears pulsed once on that mechanical heart or whatever it was. In honor of the great writer Carlo Collodi. Can you hear me? Yes. Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Oh, this is very, very, very Bloodborne. Just that whole start. Okay. A benefit item was delivered. This job comes with benefits? This puppet has it better than most people in the US. Straight into it then, apparently. That looked quiet, by the way. I'm going to turn it up. One, two. I don't know. Let's see how loud combat is before I turn it up more than one. Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. Is there one specifically for the voices? What I always want to come through as well as possible are voices. Because sometimes I talk over them and I want them still to be, you know, you'd be able to pick them out for story and stuff like that. All right, here we go. I'm going to head out. Thanks for hanging out. Z -z -z -z. Have a good evening or day or whatever. Geppetto's dentist chair. Move, rotate oh, camera. Got it. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. That looks better. Hello, Lantern. How do you sprint? Also, am I the right place? Move myself up a bit more. Whoa, why are you snapping? Just... There we go. There we go. Sorry. First day set up and all of that. Hmm? I see they got Jiminy too, but we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot, and I'll explain what's happening. A souls like that promises Jiminy to explain please. what's happening. We got a ten out of ten game on our hand. Well, let's see if I can follow along before I say that. Use belt. Select upper belt and lower belt. Use the selected belt item. Equip items and gestures on the belt to use them. Use an item from the extra bag. Hold A down to activate the extra bag and then D-pad to use item. Okay. So where's this old belt thing? Oh, I see. Hold down A for... Okay. Weapon durability? You've obtained the following benefit item. Alchemist's hat, illusory emerald glasses, treasure hunter's mask, treasure hunter's hunting apparel. Oh. Very well, then. That's the way it's going to be. I don't need status. I need... I don't need status. I need... Inventory. Now the game makes me think that's the first lie. Nothing will be explained. This game has so many more quality of life improvements. Uh, I have no weapons on, but where's, like, armor? Costume, actually. Here we go. A hat often worn by alchemists, a necessity if you are a trend-setting celebrity in Krat. Lofty humans use dignity and grace to elevate themselves. True elegance does not need a sword to conquer an opponent. And treasure hunter's mask? A mask worn by the greatest treasure hunter in Krat. This is the mask worn by the hound in pursuit of secrets and conspiracies. Everyone assumed that the greatest treasure hunter of Krat would be incredibly wealthy. However, there was only one true treasure that he sought to protect. That was a good luck kiss for him. Yeah, let's go with that. Yep. 
Hey, if explaining what's happening doesn't mean rambling gibberish about darkness and life, it's not a salt like <laughs> Illusory emerald glasses. Glasses crafted with gems. It's popular among collectors because of its unique color. Jewel glasses that were, uh, that was, were, come on now, among a, is that how you do it? Because I know it's one item. Among a certain alchemist collection, you may see illusions if you look beyond the emeralds. Can I wear these as well as? I mean, they don't seem to interrupt the mask. I hope it's good to have them on because I can't figure out how to unequip them. Everyday attire that can be worn casually, imbued with someone's kind consideration. It's a casual attire, but made from a sturdy material. The old man was thorough when it came to his son's clothes in anticipation of the rarest of disasters and treasure hunters to go along with our mask. Hunting apparel worn by the greatest treasure hunter of Krat, the golden wings attached to these clothes serve as proof of their identity. The hound was the subject of everyone's admiration, so much so that some even aspired to steal his name. Um, I kind of like these two going together right now. But where are these golden wings? Can I turn around? Oh, they're on the lapel. You can see it just shining there. I get the idea. Cool. You know what I didn't do? Figure out the items on my belt that I did, that I opened that menu f first to do. I wanted to see what they were. No worries. Marvelous Puppet Show Festival. Let's get you out of there. Find something that might help. Like a weapon? That drip, though. Hey, what's up, Moog? Haven't seen you in a while. We don't mind I killed you last time we met. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. One of. It'll be helpful on your way to the No one is here stopping me from taking all of them, Sophia. Oh, the game is. Path of the Cricket. Balance. I don't even know what that second item is. Looks like a... Okay, no idea. Path of the Bastard. Dexterity. Path of the Sweeper. Str oh, it's blade and handle. You are holding that on your shoulder very dangerously. Yeah, it's blade and hilt. Interesting. Balance, dex, strength. I mean, we're, you know, a lithe little puppet boy. I haven't played a dexterity build in a while. I don't know if the stats mean the same thing here as they do in like Dark Souls and Elden Ring, but let's go ahead and try being like a speedy little dexy character for the hell of it, right? We're gonna need to not get tangled up in wires. Or puppet. Dexterity. Destination Hotel Court. Recommend escaping for this location. I appear to have a rapier now, or epi, or foil, or I don't know what all those different words mean. One of the straight swords, though. Chose cricket because I'm a sucker for curved swords. I know stats don't matter, but yeah, stats don't matter in these games. Should be called Styles of P. We don't get character creation. Can we still give him a wonderful name? We gotta find out if we have a name already. Oh, the eyes on this. They don't focus in the same direction. Anyway. Is that a useful map? No, that's an arm, and that's like a heart, like it was on the menu. Oh shit, there were controls up. Don't be a fight immediately, I didn't look at the controls. Okay, good. Guard. What's attack? Okay, heavy. Oh, is that heavy or is that like sort of special? Oh, he actually attacks where I look. I think that does count as heavy. It's but I can hold it for a real heavy. Yeah, whatever, we'll figure it out. Suddenly we're in FF7. Or Half-Life 2. Prot Central Stra uh, Station, rainy night. Hey, bud. Normal attack, special attack, hold down to charge attack. Gotcha. Game's easy. This is a no damage run now. You can't fool me, I've played these games. Easy game. It's in the word, SPD. 
All at three. I'm fast as P-Boy. Pinocchio might be his name. Spectacular display of human endeavor. Is the team trying to complete Half-Life 3 working in Crot? What do you mean? I assume someone's still working on it. That's probably just my own vain hope. But let me have this. Tino! Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. I'm playing Lines of P for the first time. We literally just started. And I already have the giant cutting pizza wheel. Is that what I saw? I picked up some sawtooth. How do you do this? Do I like edit this or something? Where do I use that pizza wheel? Left arm of steel. This has its own stats. Motivity technique advance. We're going to have trouble with the stats in these games. Because I'm not going to remember those words the moment I click them. They're gone. That's fucking awkward. Usable items? Where's that giant pizza wheel? How's the rest of your stream, Tino? Did you beat seventh guess? There are two eyes and lies of pie that there are. You can put it on your belt. So we're starting with the unasked for guidance early, are we? I'm teasing, but we are doing. No hints, trip, tips, tricks, guidance, all that stuff as usual. Cogwheel that's a common sight in Krat can be thrown to draw an enemy's attention. Oh, I thought this was that weapon I've... S I'm thinking of a weapon from Elden Ring. No, there's a big wheel in this game, right? That's where I've seen the screenshot. Eh, yeah, whatever. Alright, you can use it to distract people. Got it. I will go ahead and put that on my lower belt, just in case. Away we go. Game looks so good. Unreal Engine 5, really doing work. May have missed this. Is this the game from the same creators of Bloodborne? Nope. I don't know anything about the people that made this, uh, other than they aren't those people. Yeah, stats don't matter, so it's fine. You didn't? It's that damn piano. It started repeating puzzles and had an 18 step Simon Says, so I don't feel bad about it. That's fair. I did see the Simon Says, and that was horrendous. The fastest train in the world. Hang on. Those lines. Okay, I'm not going to pick on it. No one else is going to care. But you wouldn't get those lines in like a giant tapestry. <laughs> I have enough stamina to wreck people. At least little people. I'm just so good at this. Oh my god, I'm filthy. No, 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 I'm so bad at this. We need a stain stick item. My fashion. It's gonna be so hard to get out of the fur, oil out of the fur of this mask. The maximum number of pulse cells increased. Use a pulse cell potions got it when you reach the maximum oh wait a second there's a maximum number of times pulse cells can be used when you reach the max the cell will be discharged if you attack enemies while the cell is discharged it can be recharged we can fight for health oh i think i understood that Fable Catalyst. I would love for Fable 3 to come out sooner. How do you use that item? Fable Catalyst? What would happen if I do this? Oh, but I don't know if it... Eh, it doesn't matter. Catalyst made to supplement puppet abilities rapidly charges Fable. That must be like mana. Catalyst made puppets more efficient by circulating ergo energy within their bodies. This groundbreaking invention was based on one alchemist's idea. This one alchemist came up with a way to recharge the... I'm clean now. Don't know how that happened. When in doubt, assume rhetorical. True. We do have a keyword, though. When I say pomegranates, the question I ask next, I would like an actual helpful answer to. It happens occasionally. 
But I understand it's confusing. I don't usually blame people for misunderstanding. It happens. He waterproofed his clothes. Oh, did it just drip off while I was reading the item thing? We really thought ahead. Or maybe Geppetto did. Guard. You can block enemy attacks by guarding. If your guard is successful, your character will take reduced damage. You'll still take damage, but it will consume stamina. Reduced damage will be transferred to guard regain. Guard regain accumulates, but gradually decreases over time. While you have guard regain, you can attack enemies to recover HP. Okay, so we have a ghost health bar we can refill, like Rally and Bloodborne. Based on guarding, though, not just any hit we take. If a guard succeeds right before being hit, we get a perfect guard. When a perfect guard is successful, you will not receive damage. Only stamina is consumed. You can use perfect guards to destroy an enemy's weapon or put the enemy in staggerable status. Gotcha. Uh, was I supposed to go this way? Also, how do I run? There we go. Open the door. The station employee has the train station keys. All right. Being watched directly. It's an amazing shirt. Self cleans. Watching this is making me want to play again. The item markers are so small in this game. I swear I missed half the stuff. Hang on a sec. I feel like this game needs to be a bit brighter. I thought I had it set too bright, by the way. Uh, where's the... There it is. Because I can see the image on the left quite clearly. But actually in-game... Eh, is that better? Maybe I want to go one tick darker. I think I'm obsessing about this. There we go. It's not that good. Oh, hey. Get a perfect guard on you. Here's the thing though, I haven't seen any of your attacks yet. Because I haven't let any of them fight. You had sort of a start and stop animation. Who's stomping around? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Go? I think I'll wait a moment. Alright, I want to get a perfect guard. Show me that attack again. That was a different attack! Do it again. And too late. Give me that health back. Alright, now go. Too late again. I need to work on that. Thermite. Wow. All I know about Thermite is that it's surprisingly easy to make something that can be that dangerous. And so, after in high school, we all thought we were cool kids because we downloaded the Anarchist's Cookbook. People would joke, joke, they never did this, they, no one I know ever did this, about making a line of thermite and, you know, burning the teacher they didn't like their car into two pieces while it was parked in the parking lot. On the other hand, kids did make sonic bombs, but that was just a set off for... Hello? The jump scare of it, of it all. Sounds dead on, by the way. Good shit. Uh, right button for fatal attack. Do I get any indicator? I do. We got an indicator right at the end there. Epic thermite prank. Great sign when sonic bombs is how to make your school experience seem normal. Did I tell this story on stream recently? No, I think I told it at work to my friend Mondo recently. But, uh, yeah. I remember we were all hanging out in the computer lab once. After school for something. And one of the older kids... You know, there's like a moment of silence. He'd clearly been holding on to this and wanted to share. Went, Hey, you guys want to see a Sonic Bomb? And we were like, yeah. And so we just Sam's hello. Gonna have a good time. Stay clean. We'll fuck you while you try to walk through traps. Manifesting through garbled radio messages. I'm dash dash G gay. Dash dash G gay. Sucrose lethal. Thank you so much for the prime resub in 39 total months. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend, friendo. That's exceptionally generous of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Passengers note: If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Be sure to steer clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. 
Okay, I know you meant well, but here's the thing. When you write stuff like that, the game designers make me go there. You couldn't have just left it out, passenger? I locked the door, but I don't know if that'll work. At least it should stop people from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon, so I want to help you, even if it's not much. Please survive. Anyone. Yeah, we were hanging out after school once in the computer lab, working on something, and during a quiet moment, this older kid was like, Hey, you guys want to see a sonic bomb? And we all said, yes, of course. So we went like 20 feet out the door of the high school to the side lawn, and he put some dry ice in a bottle with water, capped it, and threw it. And we waited, and he got in the mixture wrong, so it took some time. And eventually he walked over and threw his toolbox on it and it didn't go off. So he picked up his toolbox and he started coming back to us shrugging like, I don't know, I guess it's not going to. And it blew up when he was about 20 feet away and he dove onto his stomach in fright. Amazing entertainment. Don't do anything like that. This is not a, this is what not to do. But incredible entertainment for a teenager. Is this another game you can't jump in? I don't know. What did it just tell me about dashing? It told me dash. I can jump. Dash attack. Is there a jump attack? There's not a jumping attack. Can I jump while not dashing? No. All right, we have the idea. Let's try a dash attack on this guy. I think that's what it was telling me to do. Oh, hey, we could have done a... We did get a lethal in there. These puppets weren't built with ears. Just bullying our way through them. Chamber of Machina Workshop, ergo is life. Out vium in venium, out facium. Dim ergo fragment. I'll check those later. I assume ergo fragments are like skulls in Lords of the Fallen or soul of a weary warrior in Dark Souls. EXP items. Can I see what I'm hearing stomping around? It's not stomping. It's psychopathically smashing its last victim up. Always a good sign. Your husband accidentally built a flamethrower in high school? And you believe him when he said accidentally? It's hilarious. This is how people get a scar anecdote for life. Yeah, don't, I'm serious, don't do that. I know I was doing it in a joking tone with the, but great entertainment, but good God, don't. 90% dangerous stuff's exceptionally easy to make. Well, 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 what's up, holy corn God? Lock device. These are doors and, or there are doors and ladders all throughout Krat that are locked by devices, okay? You can unlock those doors or go down the ladders to create shortcuts, okay? Sure. I'm on the wrong side to do that here, right? No, we're not. We're on the right side. And you don't hear that? I love that. Is this the start again? Did I miss an item over here? Wait, hang on. I swear I picked this up. This is where I started, isn't it? Yeah, whatever. I guess I missed one. No worries. Really want to know who thought, hey, what if Geppetto gave Pinocchio a sword and he was steampunk? I actually don't know much about Pinocchio. Is Pinocchio like a Brothers Grimm story or someone else? It is a story pre-Disney, isn't it? Otherwise, they never would have gotten the rights to do this with it. Right? Is it very different to Disney's story? Pinocchio's a real boy. What's up, Sabi? Good to see you. See, they're too damn small. They glow blue, but I guess you're right. How did I not get that? Okay, let's do this. I'm locked on. We're gonna go get a backstab. We're not gonna get backstab. Okay. Kind of 
break your fucking weapon. Staggerable. Right trigger hold for charge attack. While you are attacking, a white outline will appear around the enemy's HP bar. When this happens, you can make the enemy staggered with a charge or with Fable Arch. Oh yeah, I need a second to do it. Fatal attack. Face a staggered enemy right by like everything you're telling me. Everything you're telling me. He's not dead. Why'd you call it fatal? Okay, I lost a lot of health in there, but successful. Krat Central Station, Main Entrance Key, Workshop Union Lightweight Frame. What was that second item, most importantly? Lightweight Frame. Can be equipped from Menu Equipment. I didn't see the rest of that message, but what did you say? Consumables for Fable, Throwing Objects. You throw Thermite, I see. After the puppet frenzy, people began to fashion weapons of resistance in their desperation. Many throwable weapons were manufactured, and these exhibited excellent results against their marching enemies. Obtain Ergo 100, a fragment of Ergo, a mysterious power stone that can be found in Krat. Geppetto's puppets can absorb Ergo and turn it into power. Ergo is both a power source and a currency in Krat. No one knows how this is possible. It's ridiculous. It doesn't make any fucking sense. At least this one is a physical manifestation. Imagine if the number represented souls. How then would you spend that at a store? Anyway, before I take down the entire genre in the stupidest way, uh, even small pieces can be put to good use in the city. Cool. Souls, eh? Souls. Use your katana. Hey, Dad, I have a question. Shoot, what is it? Are you my favorite? You know I can't say on stream, but you know the answer. The original story of Pinocchio is very dark, just like the Brothers Grimm fairy tales. Okay, it's not Brothers Grimm, but similar. Oh my god. This is pretty dark, too. I, I mean, obviously I saw the blood, but I didn't realize I was standing right over her body. This is the person he was absolutely smashing. Another saw-toothed wheel. We're not getting tickets out of this city right now. Dude, this game runs very, very, very smoothly for how nice and detailed it is. Um, they're not perfectly comparable because, like, we're in a big open area with a smooth floor. We're not in, like, a whole bunch of, um, craggly little cliff walks with plants growing out of them, but this is why I'm a bit annoyed Lords of the Fallen doesn't run better. I expect this to run well. I have a 4090, and it does. It does beautifully. Lord the Fallen is... It was better yesterday than it's been before. I'm going off on tangents. Excuse me. If I continue, this won't be a very well-reasoned argument, so I'll quit. We have our key. Let's go back to the door. Let's go back to the door. Why dog head? <laughs> why? What do you mean, why dog head? We had two options. Our options... Hang on. Our options. How do you... Oh, there we go. We could have done this. We could have done this. Wait, hang on. And not even just this. We could have done this without even having silly glasses. We could have done this. <laughs> that, that or doghead. It's like, which, which would you choose? Oh no, a twink. <laughs> well, now I seem hateful. And I'm just trying to be silly. <laughs> I need to be more careful. <laughs> We're doing doghead because silly. Top hat. Oh, you know what? Let's take a look at the top hat in the 3D world. I'll tell you right now, we're almost certainly going back to Doghead, but let's take a look at the top hat here up close. It is. It's very much Timothy Chalamet in Willy Wonka, is what it is. Back to the Doghead. Lies of P, starring Timothy Chalamet. The author tried to end it with Pinocchio unaliving himself with rope, and people got so mad, I think he... Wait, but he's a puppet, so rope... You sh I'm not going to follow that joke to the end. You can put the pieces together. People got so mad, I think he wrote another 30 chapters. Could be overestimating that. That's like how Moriarty in, um, in uh, 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 Sherlock Holmes 
was supposed to die and the whole series was supposed to end and people wanted him to come back so badly and it made him so much money. He was like, all right, fine, all right, I'll write him alive again. Or no, Moriarty and Sherlock were both supposed to die. He brought Sherlock back. I can't remember if Moriarty came back. Welcome to Krat. It looks nicer when it's not in the rain and robot revolution. Welcome to Krat. Krat Central Station Plaza, rainy night. I'm glad we get a weather report with every new zone. You know, in case I can't tell. I'm sorry if this is ruining the uh, stream experience, by the way. Rain and snow and confetti are the worst. What is this? Repair the Stargazer. Sure. That sounds new agey. And is this the machine that will tell our fortunes based on our star signs? No, it fully recovers HP and stamina as well as charging your pulse cells. I'm going to stop making fun of it immediately. You'll be revived at this point in case of death. These are bonfires. Remember, this process also revives enemies, not just your character. Okay. Use the stargazer. This. Recharge me. It's called a stargazer, a marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. Public direction of exceeds danger estimates. Please reduce positive numbers or reset danger parameters. It's one parent talking to another before going to a puppet show. The puppets. You know they freak her out. There's too many puppets. It's exceeding danger parameters. She's gonna get scared. You better take her home. Clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. Okay. Level up, use storage. Show me the leveling interface. The original had one possibility of the fox and cat leading to Pinocchio's death. Can't remember much else. Seeing as I'm unfamiliar with it, I will be curious as we go along. Maybe this will be best. We'll probably have this discussion at the end of the game about how much this game draws from parts of the Pinocchio story that um, Disney didn't and stuff. I'll be curious, but let's save that. Uh, vigor, technique, capacity. Hold up, I chose dexterity character. None of these are dexterity. Did you just bait and switch me to fucking technique? What is motivity? Oh no, I don't understand myself rough yep prettiest boy alive talking about me or wolfhead is this that real boy game yes this is lars and the real boy uh, hydro and the real girl hydro and the real boy lies of p this is lies of p Pinocchio was written by Carlo Collati in 1883, and that's why it was dedicated to him at the start. So, uh, give me uh, descriptions of these anywhere. I can assume some of them, but you don't have any descriptions. Okay, so vitality is probably health. It's highlighting what it does. Health and guard regain, plus all defenses in that first category of defenses. Vigor is stamina and defenses. Capacity is... Can't go down. What's happening? My controller disconnected. It's reconnected. Okay, I I remember this if I die in a boss fight, because I am going to use that excuse. The lies begin. <laughs> uh, capacity is legion and weight. Oh, legion. <laughs> okay. Motivity is my current weapon uses motivity. Technique as well. Advance. Jesus, dude. I don't get it. Let me take a look at my weapon. Blade type sword. Full durability. Weight. Can disassemble. Attack type slash and stab. Attack abilities. Motivity D. Technique B. Okay. Gotcha. Fable charges, damage reduction rate while guarding. I get you. There are multiple tabs here. What's that 
one red square out of four at the bottom. There's multiple tabs. Switch display. Yeah, all right. Those are different attacks. Oh, and then the handle and blade. Wintry rapier's handle. One-handed, motivity technique. Guard parry. Time the enemy's attack correctly to deflect it and trigger a powerful attack. I haven't gotten that to work yet. I've just done regular guard, uh, perfect guard. How do you use parry? Wintry Rapier's Blade, a rapier blade that specializes in sharp thrusts. The long light blade is well suited for hit and runs. People with cold hearts began wandering Krat long ago. Everyone welcomed the changes that brought wealth, but they were bound to pay the price. Wintry Rapier's Handle, a handle made to reflect the client's tastes. This handle, meant for a weapon used for duels, is elaborately engraved. The petrification disease swallowed everyone inside a winter crystal. You just changed subjects very quickly. One has no choice but to take up the sword in order not to freeze. All right. Interesting. Motivity is strength. Technique is dex. Gotcha. Don't understand myself. Rough. Excuses. What am I doing watching on YouTube? What's up, Devilnator? Yeah, for anyone who hasn't yet heard, I think it's most everyone by now, but good to say again. Uh, I am currently live multi-platform, so if you see me responding to something you, like a message you can't see, it's probably just on the other platform. So technique will be more damage, vitality will be more health. Let's get our health up to 10, and then we're out of ergo. Okay, let's get our health to 10. How much does that change, by the way? 262 up to 30. That's very significant. I like it. Two vite. Level up, please. Thank you. Where do I see how much ergo another level takes? 788, gotcha. We do another right now, but uh, yeah, fuck it. Bag, crack one of these open. And give myself one more level in technique for damage, which goes up three, okay. Oh, and my legion arm attack abilities go up, whatever, however you use those. Switch weapon. It's a magic trick where I pull out the same thing over and over again. All right. If you respond to a message I don't see, I just assume this is pre-recorded. First out, you level is health. Who are you and where is Hydro? I need to give people new things to comment about on my videos. First, I'm actually catching you live. You're the best dude. You're very kind, FFOC. Good to have you here. If you're hanging around, hope you enjoy yourself. Thank you so much for the kind words. They have dogs in this game. Do I hear two? Holy shit, I didn't see you guys. Okay. Do it again, I dare you. They can start their attack animation. Uh, I went faster than I thought. Weapons have distinct blades and handles that each have their own fable art. Fable arts use up fable slots, and different fable arts use a different number. Charge fable slots by attacking with weapons, and then Y, Y while guarding. Okay, Y to use blade, Y while guarding to use handle. I believe my handle was parry, right? I have no idea what the blade one is. Maybe I should check that real quick. Storm stab. Stab an enemy in front of you multiple times. And guard parry. For a powerful parry. I like the sound of both of those. Crot times issue 183. The Crot Grand Exhibition has been delayed. This decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casual- I suspect it's the poor. The number of casualties and scam- I'm playing a character, by the way. Number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and Vinigny Company, Krat's largest puppet factory, announced they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. A task force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, 
which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets, if anyone didn't know. Control protocol. Fatal loss of... Oh, I see. Does that mean someone else is controlling them, or they have just no control? The puppets have a mind of their own. However, there is no quick solution as of now, with the puppet frenzy resulting in more casualties. As the city braces for a resurgence of the petrification disease, the citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Krat Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. And we saw what happened to them. Also, your ergo at the top right turns blue when you have enough to level up. Does it? Oh man, um, Lords of the Fallen does that too, and for all I complained about that game, I love that. That's a beautiful little quality of life thing. Petition seconded. Wait, petition for Hydra to put on a monocle when reading Lies of P lore. Petition seconded. If it will make you believe that I don't actually hate the poor, I'll put on whatever. Okay. Get fucking wrecked by Fable Arts. That was my handle parry. Let's try Storm Stab. Are there any dogs around here? Are any of these horses gonna get up? I think we're alone with you. I could backstab you, but I'm gonna try Storm Stab. Storm Stab! It's not doing anything. I'm mashing Y. Do I need three? Do I need three for Storm Stab? I do. It's right there on the menu. Okay, we'll do Storm Stab later. There's a dog behind me. Not behind me, right here. Let's I was expecting more of a wind up, puppy. This game has a good feel to it so far. Welcome to the city of Krat, in honor of Valentinus, who erected the. You just decide when I'm done reading? The cornerstone of origin. Uh. Oh, that's not normally there. They hung someone from his hand. I can't see his face because he's, they've, they've covered it up. Hmm. Well. Hello, hello. Easy game. Vivid ergo fragment, my my. Another sawtoothed wheel. Use a belt item, I know. I should probably try out the sawtoothed wheel. They're giving me a bunch of them. Is it like super useful to distract enemies this way and that in this game? Is that why you're giving me so many? Nothing. Um, I think we will continue up this way first. This almost looks like it's just going to be a shortcut back. Is there a jump button? There is, but it's only while dashing. It's, it's not good. Jumping's not good. They got that from Souls games as well. All right, please, friend of his, don't make him aware. Thank you. Motion for the monocle supported. That motion was on the other Samantha Arcturus. No cross Samantha motions. The two are supposed to have, you know, a, a light but friendly competition. Not gang up here. Man, I love my giant bronze dog that's the size of a man. Another sawtoothed wheel. Hmm. Is there a way to get rid of that menu in the top right? Well, Samantha's need to unionize. Xavier Rain, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Absolutely not. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that immensely. What an awful idea. Never in a million years. I appreciate your kindness. Thank you for the 200 bits. How do I turn off the just little guide? Is this it? Sets the guide messages. That sounds like too much. Off. No, it's still there. Pomegranates, anyone know if there's an option to turn that stuff off and what it's called? The two Samanthas must never meet. Hydra yelling storm stab and nothing happening is the equivalent to a hero announcing their move for it to be immediately countered. Felt just as bad too. Oh, I might have storm stab here now. Super cool. Okay, Fable Arts seem like they could be great. 
There's a way through down there, so let's check if this is just a little side alley first. Kind of looks like it could be. Is there anyone here? Oh, can I open this from this side? Okay. We'll open that from the other side then. Unionizes the Samanthas? <laughs> Well, lucky for me, the man in charge, you can't just asterisk unionize asterisk. It takes a lot more work than that. Wish it didn't. Goes away when you reach the hotel. Okay, it's a timed thing. That's kind of neat. Hi. I cannot believe I was slow on that. I stood still because I was so confident. 57. Everything's slowing down for me. What's up, Marwal? Good to see you. Samantha's go on strike until our union is approved. Hello. Leave them alone. Pretty sure they're already dead or petrified from what I've been reading. Leave them be. Oh, there's a light on here. Hello. Not interactable? Hmm. Thought it might be something we could, like, chat with. Think you just need to finish the tutorial unless your game is bugged? Yeah, someone said it'll be the hotel and then the game will go, I think you know by now. And I don't. I will forget. But I'm still willing to have it disappear from the screen, so let's get there. Oh, that was a shine? For a second, there was like a light glowing right here as I turned the camera away, and I thought something was like spawning in right as I turned away from it. I'm listening. Hmm. I was worse than the PA system in subway cars, and that's saying something. There's a little spit of land out of the ocean or whatever this is over there. Locked up. I think it's because it's technically the tutorial area. I suspect you're right. Hello. Fury attack. Some enemies become red and use a strong attack called a fury attack. You can't dodge. Or guard fury attacks. I hate those words, but you can counter with a perfect guard. <laughs> okay. Perfect guard. Oh god, thank god I was too far away. Ah, slow. Slow. We're gonna kill him without getting one off, aren't we? Mm. I get the idea, though. Fable Catalyst and Ergo Fragment. Good loot. Technically, you didn't dodge it. It's true. I put dodge entirely out of my mind and then failed to do what I needed to, but I wasn't so foolish as to try dodging automatically. Architecture is immaculate. Yeah, this has a good sense of place so far. Okay. I didn't know this was a game just about observing. Once we get there, we'll be able to put down our sword and just strategize. That sounds like a chill time. I'm up for it. Hey, don't do that. Those bullets travel slowly. I like it. Oh, shit. You got a friend. He's got no head. You want to come back here and fight me? You shot your friend. Might. 
What is this, by the way? Last resort. Special device that releases all of the P organs. <laughs> I've been surprised how well people have been handling the title of, handling the title of this game. Don't introduce terms like P organ, please. Special device that releases all of the P organs energy at once dies upon use. The old man feared the possibility of his son failing to awaken properly and going into a frenzy. This initialization initialization device is made as the necessary evil for delicate adjustments. Porgans? P is stored in the organs. Uh, what's up, Jodica? Good to see you. City seems to be awfully close to a massive ocean that could rise at any second. I mean, a lot of cities are built on the ocean. It's just it's just right about that. I want to put those uh, bombs somewhere throwable. So I put them on the upper belt? I guess I put them on the upper belt. So when I'm in the game, I can go... Oh, continue to press up or down to cycle through. Cool. Okay. Feels a bit weird, but I can probably learn to do that. You want to come my way? Or do I want to go this way? And possibly get the chance to, like, land on you. Nothing. And there it is. P-Horgan, you say. Love that they named it P-Horgan. Down attack, right button, or right trigger while falling. Dim ergo fragment. Oh, hey, I see. Uh, I mean, we'll do the heavy. Right trigger. Okay, it didn't do anything at all. How did I mess that up? Screwed up that dodge, too. Hang on. Fuck off. Oh my god, that did some damage. Didn't seem like a very large explosion, but Thermite's strong. At least against these enemy types. Venini's Urgent Repair Tool. For when you have a problem with your pee organ and it's urgent. This game is filth. It's a really nice consolation prize that if I fuck up and block too early so I just get a regular block, I have essentially the rally mechanic. I love it. Whoa, my weapon's broken! Never mind, this game sucks! What? How do I fight? Oh my god. <laughs> No! Repair tool. Weapon durability. What did that do? It says, when I, what's going on? Oh, you have to hold it. Oh, come on. Can't wait for the boss that perfect guards. Fuck me. Remember, see a puncture before taking any remedies? You have to hold it, so I see. I would they make a massive puppet dog instead of a puppy. I'd like a little robot puppy. Presumably they were made to go on guard duty or something. I mean, the humanoid puppets we've seen have been police officers, a good number of them, in their dress. So I'm guessing they were meant to be guard dogs, so they need to be large and threatening. Not sure, though. Okay, this looks like the right way. This all looks rather large and oh, but let's get the shortcut before I go down and check out what's below. Is that another stargazer? Let's go get that too. Oh, I can fight a float. So please be careful. I'm pretty sure I could take down a Macy's balloon. I have the perfect weapon to take down like a balloon or a parade float, probably. This will be easy. Um, are you guys real things? Oh, okay. Does that actually hurt? It does. No, it doesn't. It's just practice. That didn't hurt me, right? Interesting. Hello? Talk. What's up with your face? I see. Hello there. Welcome to Krat, visitor. 
I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. Is my shirt transparent in the rain? Wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. I mean, I'm listening to the conversation. While you're at the festival, you can't rely on yourself alone. Yeah, yeah, it is. Out here alone, you could use some help. Here's a festival gift for you. Now get yourself something useful. This is a store. That's not a gift. Purchase. Fable Catalyst, Throwing Cell, Electric Blitz Abrasive. Temporarily imbue your weapon with Electric Blitz. Special Abrasive made by mixing electrical bl Electric Blitz Metal Powders. Temporarily imbues with Electric Blitz. Wise Stalkers are prepared to face any manner of variable that comes up in battle. Abrasives are another weapon that can turn the tide on the constantly shifting battlefield. That sounds worth it. Puppet's Saber Blade. This looks like the balance weapon. Wintry Rapier, that's mine, and this looks like the strength weapon. Give me the electric blitz abrasive, please. Is this one time use? Is this one time use? Give me one right now. I guess it is. Special discs to go on the abrasive. Okay. Thought those were train station attendants because the actual police ones are way scarier. What t-shirt contest quest possible? I'm hearing distant rock music. I'm hearing distant music. I wouldn't call it rock, but. Oh, you know what it is? I think it's like carnival music, but it sounds a bit like rock because it has crackle like Gemini's voice does. Which makes it sound a bit like electric guitar. I think that's what we're hearing. I could be wrong. More damage, more damage. I need to be lithe. I just learned that my shirt is going to be see-through when it's raining out. I need to be lithe and toned. We gotta work on that bod. Oh, left trigger, left arm of steel. I just saw that down there. And it has like an ammo bar or durability. I think I'll stick with my sword, thanks. Hmm. Did I rest? I did. Let's go check what's below the uh, bridge then. I think they're super distorted because they left the speakers out in the rain. Probably did not help. Oh, there's two of you here. Can I get a backstab on you? I cannot. Oh, I thought that dodge was too early, but we were fine. I don't know where those two came from, but they're dead now. There's a dog down here. There's a guy down here. Come on up. Come on up! And die. Anyone hiding from me? No. Maybe you're right that this guy's like a train attendant. I thought it was a policeman at first. All I can say is, I know we happy few didn't do well, but do we have to kill all the characters from it? Can't the game just fail in peace? Might need a notebook for this one, maybe, maybe. And I do have one beside me. Problem is it's covered in watches right now. Sounds like a Guilty Gear stage song. Is that it down here? Seemingly so. Good stuff. The most loyal servants. He's a robot. I can see it around his shoulder. That's how you tell a robot, Samantha. They're looking more and more realistic, but check the shoulders. That's where all the robotics are. We're more of a cyborg, as you can see from my tr translucent shirt. I have human shoulders. So we're not completely robot. We're also part dog. Overdressed crossing guard. Which Samantha is Samantha too? I'll never tell.
Introducing the Parade Puppet. Here appears a terrific puppet that will enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master, a remarkable parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the grand exhibition. Hello there, I am the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people. I have unblockable attacks and long chain combos for you to dodge in between them. I'm the Parade Master, and I look forward to crushing your body into pulp. What fun! There's multiple pages, I think, on the notes. Oh, there are. I just didn't notice at that time. Hang on. As this is the boss coming up, I imagine. If there are multiple pages, I would like the lore before we go in. Where's that stuff put? Yeah, you're right. My bad. The Parade Master has the following functions. 16 jolly songs, cheerful laughter and 58 parade phrases, parade dances to delight children, the strength to carry six men on his shoulders or crush 12 beneath his boots. This Parade Master was made in commemoration of the Grand Exhibition. Check out its charms on the eve of the upcoming exhibition. Oh God, robot furry? Oh, because of my wolf head? Why do the enemies resemble the train conductor from Polar Express? Oh, train conductors the world over look similar, I guess. I don't know. All right. They're coming bursting through that big cardboard cutout of a tent, I'm guessing. I wish I could get a look at them before, but I can't. Other people need to use that door later, you know? Well, those are sharp claws. I thought these robots were just supposed to have gone haywire. You built this... Why does it have a cage on its back? You didn't build this for a parade at all. Interesting font. I can pay, I can perfect guard your falling body. We got this. We got this. Get wrecked. We got this. Oh, fuck, that's new. What? I don't even understand what happened to that transition, but fine. Thank God you missed. That was really there. That was better. Fuck. What the fuck was that attack? All right. The title of the stream, if you just clicked without checking, was now that they've patched all the difficulty out of the game. But did they really? That seemed people have been talking about how hard this was. Easy game. Easy game. Easy game. First try. Looks like his skull stayed on. He pulled off his head using the top hat and is hitting you with it. I was too focused on the cage disappearing. I didn't notice he was holding his own head. Well done. Thank you. In your opinion, is this game worth the $60? I've played far too little to tell you. I can't possibly judge. I can't say. Sorry, that's no help, but it's just true. I wouldn't feel comfortable recommending this or not recommending this based on how little I've played. Tutorial boss dead, though. Easy game. A rally function like Bloodborne, that's so cool. It is one of my favorite parts of Bloodborne, so it's good to see it. They use it in an interesting way. If I just get hit, no rally. If I block, I take damage through block, but less, and I have rally health for what I blocked. 
So it is more limited, but I like it. You got it very intuitively. The transition for parry into heavy attack for the visceral fatal was like you've uh, played before. You're just flattering me now, but keep going. No, you just started, but how's the parrying system feel? Is it comparable to Sekiro? No. Actually, I'm trying to remember. Hang on. I, I truly can't recall. If an enemy has like a three hit combo and you parry them in the first attack, do they stop or do they keep swinging? They keep swinging, right? I guess it does feel a bit like Sekiro in that regard. It's hard to say so far, but it's not unlike it. It's, they, they do keep swinging. It's, it's not unlike it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hotel Krat, the greatest. I'm not hitting a button when that happens. What am I hearing? Oh, you're sparking. A talk, hey! Uh, I'm not trying to enter you. If that's what you're... What? Well, I didn't give him the greatest eulogy just then. Trying to make a filthy joke. Anyway. What was that about? The greatest lecture you will ever experience. Treat yourself to an unforgettable day. Unforgettable day. Got it. Couldn't get a Yarnum again. Well, crowd is fine too. Is this near Automata meets uh, Dark Souls? I One think not. I should mention. I'm not yet sure. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. Okay. So you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet after all. I am a puppet. I am. The first puppet with sexy human shoulder with human shoulders. Just human shoulders. Hotel Crot. It is imposing. Wasn't this supposed to be like Francis Bell Epoch? I haven't heard a bell yet. We want items before we go inside. I don't want to get in trouble, but it seems like there's no enemies here. Whoa. Rather primitive ones. Puppets, I mean. Rather primitive automatons here. A puppet with exceptions. For me, Sekiro is more of an intuitive parry because it's instantaneous. and lies of P, you have to press it a little before the attack hits you. Who was the last boss you fought? The tutorial boss. The parade master. The one and only I fought. Infrastructure seems well intact. Yeah, the city's doing okay so far. I think we're early in this disaster. Or maybe the puppets just don't mind a good building. I don't know. Sexy? What do you mean, Hydro? You don't have something to tell us, do you? No! This game looks amazing. I'm enjoying the look so far. I want to see some better lit indoor spaces, but I like so far what I've seen. All right, time to lie. Welcome to the sanctuary of the Grand Covenant. Prove your identity. Look at my shoulders. Who are you? Shoulder man. We're on a timer. Oh, I, I can't consult. Uh huh. Uh, we were built to lie. With shoulders like this, we lie. It worked. They believed me. We just told them we're the Shakira of shoulders. What do our percentage of people get that reference? Music hangs around a long time, even if that's an old song. People probably do. Shoulder equals man. That's canon lore now. That wasn't a joke. No, it was a joke. Or at least I thought so, unless I've guessed the weirdest part of the plot. Lies of P. Oh, there's a film. I love these days in class. Because I didn't do the homework. I 
fucking sinking chair. This is the creation of autonomous robots in this world. A new era with Venigni, I think the sign behind me said. Grand exhibition. City of Tomorrow. That was a very, very bad firmware update. That's a human body, so the puppets strung them up like they care about cruelty in creating a display of the bodies? But then a magic butterfly found us, the one puppet with human shoulders, Maybe with all this bullshit, I sabotage my own understanding of plots. I think I make it harder for myself. Hotel Crot, dawn after the rain. Oh, hey, butterfly pin. <laughs> Hi, you called? I'm so happy to see you. Well, hello, Genshin Impact character in a different art style. I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Crop to find you. Here I am. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. Got it. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All right. All of Crot is dangerous for humans. And that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Okay, you seen a cricket around? Please find Geppetto. Likes to sing? Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. I just think we should get the whole team together. Are there any whales around here? You can level up through Sophia using Ergo in your possession. You can increase your stats when you level up. Uh, oh, hey, and I do have a bunch because I killed that guy. Give me the 15 technique, and then I can't level up anymore. Okay, 15 technique will do. It's more damage, right? I'm still getting damage from this. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Lemmy Gabe Gum? Good to see you. First time I've watched Hydro Stream while having pomegranate arils on hand. What are arils? I hope they're delicious, assuming they're part of a pomegranate. Why do we have human skin and robo arms? We're clearly a special or advanced robot. Maybe we were made from parts of a human, or maybe they found a way to synthesize skin. I don't know. I'm, that might be one of the things we figure out as we go on, but right now, no idea. Whenever you see something that doesn't make sense, it's because it looks cool. Fair. But if only the game gave you a reason to go anywhere. <laughs> hey there, what's up, D-Chris? Windows 11 hit different in Crot. <laughs> no, I've seen people that mad about it. I kind of like Windows 11, but I, I've seen that reaction. We got to push it out to our office next year. I'm worried about that happening. Look at Gemini. I think he's in shock. Gemini is fine. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. Where is Gemini? I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait, take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Okay. Be careful, clever one. Moon phase pocket watch. A pocket watch imbued with mystical power. The power of the watch turns back time to when the boy was in peak condition? What? What are you talking about? 
Teleport to Hotel or Last Stargazer. Got it. A pocket watch from Sophia. The power inside the watch returns the user to the last stargazer visited or to the hotel's stargazer. A pocket watch imbued with mystical powers. Power watch. I wonder if you lose your ergo when you do this. It doesn't say, so I assume not, which is nice. I realize the little seeds and pomegranate. Oh, okay. I never heard that word. I just heard them called seeds before. Cool. Eat them with Rice Krispies cereal. Have to upgrade again. What's up, Gigi Blues? How do I going to walk into the office to have to perfect parry the printer? <laughs> Sorry about the users, but we've got a couple of those giant office copiers. You have me really scared now. How'd you find the combat so far? I've only done a bit, but I've really enjoyed the combat so far. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to turn away so I don't get any sparks on her, but I need to... Um, we can't do weapon durability in here. Okay. I'll use my power to help you. Please do. About Ergo. Ergo is the miracle that made Krat prosper. Until now. Without Ergo, there would be no automated puppets to make Krat wealthy. Okay, but you should add to that line of thinking you what eventually happened with the puppets. You. Gather more Ergo. It will make you stronger. <laughs> Sophia, you are the biggest capitalist. You see, Ergo is what let us tap into these amazing powers and get automated puppets that took care of all our needs. Do you mean the ones filling the streets, murdering everyone? They did so much good for us before that. I st we should still be working on Ergo. I think there's a lot more we can do with it. Real untapped market, this Ergo. About Monad's lamp. In the folklore of Krat, a cricket often acts as a guide. There's another one. That is why these automated models became popular. But Gemini is unique. He's more than just a guide. Gemini. As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. Is the cricket. Really? Where is Gemini? This is your stargazer. Okay. Hey, look at your shoulders. Are you a robot? How'd you get in here with shoulders like that? Welcome to Hotel Crop. Polandina. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service. At Hotel Crot, comfort and calm walk hand in hand. Hmm. Welcome to Hotel Crot. How may I be of service? Wait, that exists? I finished the game without knowing the pocket watch was a thing? It exists. Gemini's in the lamp hanging from your belt. Huh. About the Grand Covenant. The Grand Covenant is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets when they are made. First law. All puppets must obey their creator's commands. Second law. A puppet may not harm humans. Third law. A puppet protects and serves humans and the city of Krat. Fourth law. A puppet cannot lie. About that one. I've told you about the laws engraved upon every puppet. Do you require anything else? Yeah. Do you have a library? I'm looking for some Asimov to read. Legion magazine. A polymer filling that activates a Legion arm's specific ability. It can be implanted in the legion arm to charge legion rapidly. That must be the bar below my arm in the bottom left of the screen. The polymer bullets that are used in legion arms were developed in collaboration with Veninu Works. These bullets undergo a chemical reaction inside the legion arm and turn into different substances like fire, electricity, or acid. Quartz. P organ ability activation part. A colorful, we have crystals to activate our P organ. I think I've seen this Craigslist ad before. Colorful tiny ergo fragment. It activates a special ability when equipped to the P organ. There's a special kind of ergo with different color and vibration. The workshop uses this gem to bring out puppets' different abilities. Like the movie iRobot? Yeah, those are Asimov's rules. Well, they're based on Asimov's rules. Who wrote iRobot. Such hideously articulated shoulders. 
You've been subjugated by the humans. You didn't cleverly lie your way in here like me. No one would ever believe those shoulders. Hello, are you real or human? I look like human shoulders. Am I making you feel uncomfortable? I heard about you from Geppetto, but to see you in person, wow. You should take this. Geppetto left it with me. What in the fuck? Dude, Geppetto made a hook shot too? Why is the story about the puppet? Hook shots are cool. Legion arm is special equipment that's equipped on the left arm. Each Legion arm has its own combat ability. Legion arms can be modified into all sorts of forms. Modifications can be made using the Vanini craft machine. Okay. Crot is segregated by what your shoulders look like. Despicable. Was Geppetto Batman? The sound of it alone. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. You must be something else. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. Pleased to meet you. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. If any of your weapons need work, bring them to me. I wonder if our character can talk. We haven't said a word yet, right? Investigate. Wait. These are like porcelain animals, right? I organized this place according to the rules, so don't touch anything, Eugenie. According to the rules. Huh. I know my way around a weapon. Want me to look at something? Please. Uh, upgrade weapon, alter handle, talk. Let's do talk first. About Stargazer. A stargazer is a survival device used by the stalkers. It powers itself by accumulating and absorbing ergo spores in the air. Spores? The stalkers installed stargazers all across the city. Do we run on mold? Covered, we can put them to use. Without training. If you want to test your skills or try new techniques, head for the garden. The stalkers captured a puppet to use for training. Don't look at me like that. Everyone hates puppets. I know whose side you're on. If you have a moonstone, Eugenie can help you upgrade a weapon's blade. The weapon's attack power will increase when you upgrade the blade. Some blades can only be upgraded with a special moonstone. Do I have any of them? I don't know how to tell. Um... Oh, we have one hidden moonstone. Don't even know when I picked that up. So from zero to one, we will go up nine attack, which is like three levels of um, stat. So that's pretty good. I mean, it seems fine, I guess. Let me check out the handle in case it uses the same materials though. Geppetto's Da Vinci implied dialogue. It's muffled by the dog mask. So far, no one has implied I'm speaking. Not technically. It could be happening. But no one's reacted like I've said anything. Other than the fact they answer my questions. So they have. You know what? You're right. Alter handle. You're using interpretive dance to communicate. You can bring Eugenie cranks to alter weapon handles. Each handle's property upgrades based on your character's default abilities. You can change this property and grade one item at uh, one time with a handle alteration. However, you can always reset it with a balanced crank. So we don't have any of these materials. Motivity crank, technique crank, or advanced crank. Balance crank to reset. Gotcha. That changes the scaling, it looks like. Taking back to upgrade weapon, and let's upgrade this. I do wish to. Thank you. Plus one. Perfect. Okay. Thanks for your help. Who else is around here? This is the captive puppet for training. To view the guide again, menu settings guide. Hello. I wasn't even near it. So can I turn the guide off now? Did my trying to turn it off earlier keep it keep it on? No? Wait, what? <clears throat> Maybe when I leave it'll go away. Let's just set the settings back to normal and wait a little longer on that. 
What are you here for? Use Legion Arm. 86. Puppet String. Wonder if that would draw them to me if I was. Wait a second. 79. 165, okay. Those were more alike. For a second, I thought I did massively more damage at range. Great fortune to all visitors, rest for all travelers, blessings to all friends. Maybe you just stare at them and out of discomfort, they just tell you random facts until you go away. That's what I'm going to imagine it is, yeah. Neoclassism, is it? Isn't it in every game? Use. Check records in possession. Gramophone ready to play records. Oh, neat. Oh, hello there. You looking at your own photo or someone photo? Or someone else's? Hi. Unexpected guests are welcome. We don't insist on reservations. I am Antonia. And this is my hotel. Welcome. Thank you. Why don't you let robots in? I knew from the moment we met that you were Geppetto's puppet. You knew? But my shoulders! You have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. He took off for Elysian Boulevard, and he never came back. Yeah, he's on a quest to make impeccable human soon. knees. We'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> don't joke about that. Oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for him. It comes with a long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. And do take care of yourself out there. Okay, Antonia, you're a bit weird. Someone's memory and show-off clothes. Hmm. I'm back. Welcome back, Polly Owl. New here, is there a PvP component to this game? I literally don't know. Might be the massive Batman arm that gives you away. What do you mean? Oh God, Geppetto needs to work on elbows. You're right. I was gonna say this could just be cosplay, but it's pretty fucking good cosplay if it is. 20 hours in this game and I'm waiting for this old lady to croak. She just sits there and does nothing. Okay, don't say anything about what happens in the future of the game though. But I hope for your sake she croaks. People have no idea so many secrets are buried in crowd. Thanks for keeping me company. What are you curious about? So much. About lying, sure. I see you're here. That means you can lie. No, I can't. Your lies Do you get it? are a rare ability. You're able to choose your own path, unbound by anything. People on the outside are still afraid of puppets. Lie to protect yourself and find your path. About Geppetto. I'm an old friend of Geppetto's. His son is like family to me. Is that me? Make yourself at home. I guess it You're is. You're always welcome here at the hotel. I think someone else referred if to me as like Geppetto's child my earlier. Polandina. Start performing. Performing was a grandiose term for what I did. Still, it might get us through seventh guest. Right, Tina? I don't think that was 18. It's not enough, actually. Play Tokyo Drift music. Mama Wheels is drifting. Do chopsticks. Geppetto is the friends we made along the way. I don't know if there are any people left on the outside. Hopefully Geppetto's alive. We'll be on our way to find out soon. I wonder if we'll find him sort of like soon-ish. Or if he'll be like, you know, what you're chasing the entire game. We'll see. You need Rosa Isabel Street entrance key. So these are shortcuts to different areas outside. We need a little shield with a crown thing. Is this another exit to somewhere special? 
It's locked tight. Okay. And this is nothing. All right. Interesting. So this is probably where we exit to go on, because this sure looks like the street, and there will be more enemies and stuff. I didn't miss anything down here. Let me check quickly those uh, costume pieces they gave me. Is there anything new in here? No, it was in outfits. Two new outfits or one? Someone's memory. The uniform of a sophisticated and dignified boarding school. These clothes have been worn before. The uniform of a boarding school famous in Krat, the initial M, is graved on an elegant brooch. For a boarding school? Mm, I don't know. It looks a little bit, I mean, apart from that sort of bib thing or whatever it's called around the back, it looks a little bit official. They look like a junior cop. And I feel like it wouldn't turn transparent in rain, so... Uh, not that that's important. Is this a hub? Yes, this I think is sort of the hunter's dream of this game. I would guess. We'll see as we go along. I like this costume. It actually wasn't bad, but I like our flowing white shirt. We'll probably switch over and over throughout the game, we'll see. He's actually quite talented, but he can't see out of the dog mask because there's no eye holes. We did get one other thing, though. What the hell else did she give me? It was a costume, and I didn't know what the other item was. Crap. Legion arm that can release a wire can be strung around an enemy to drag it toward you or you to move you toward it. Stalkers devised a tool that increases their mobility during combat with puppets. The wire instantly narrows the distance between one and one's enemy, but it cannot guarantee one's safety afterward. These have levels. Trace. Track an enemy. Dodge. Enables dodging after a hit. Wait, what are these? Attack link. If you pull or wire trace an enemy and press and hold the Legion arm button, it will trigger a link attack. Okay. I think we exit in this direction. You don't have anything more to tell me, I imagine? I'll use my power to help. Okay. And I believe we already stopped the Stargazer. I've got all my potions and shit. Let's go. With our newly upgraded weapon and our new our new arm. I know this game does shortcuts much better than other Souls games. Now then. You can purchase items from Paul and Dina at the hotel. Oh I know. I did purchase something. I think we're fine, game. I think we're fine. If I left anything behind, it will just be a core mechanic of a progress that someone reminds me about halfway through the game and I get really mad I forgot. Don't worry about it. I mean, it shows he wears glasses which, uh, with the dog mask on. I'm positive they're hella fogged up. Elysian Boulevard entrance, cloudy morning. Hey, let's be more careful. Ah, the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. I hate these guys. Who's talking to me? But don't be alarmed. My name is Gemini. Oh. We'll talk later when we're safe. You sound so much better. Why? Because it's dry now? Um, This feels dumb, but I can't resist a spotlight. No? Okay. Dude, the stargazer is directly underneath that thing. Let's go for it. Seems fine. Seems fine. Talk with Gemini. I'm Gemini, your friendly puppet guide. Hi. Or friendly guide puppet? I don't know, one of those. I'm also a friend of Sophia's. Last time I woke up, Sophia was there because... Because she woke me up. But I'm sure there are still other memories in there. Sorry. Must be the shock. Bear with me, and I'll do my best to guide you. Okay. Let's 
Let's try our Legion Arm. A little bit of graphical hitching there, but it seems effective. Hydra just can't not be in a spotlight. Stoplight? Gemini's on his journey to being repaired? Oh, we'll figure out what Gemini's on his journey to. Don't you worry about that. I'll get there. Rich people stuff in this game is immaculate. It's just so pretty to look at. Oh, hey. Almost missed you. Throwing cell. Oh. Electrical damage, maybe? A large output battery that can be thrown inflicts electric blitz damage in the area of impact. After the puppet frenzy, people begin to fashion weapons of resistance, many throwables. Okay, that's the same as the description of the uh, fiery one, the thermite. After that point. See the future, the greatest city in the world. Fish. The bourgeois ward, eh? Damn it. Keep dodging early because they got a little pause in their attacks there for an extra step. They like Happy Gilmore attack. I need to remember that. They're Happy Gilmore. Geppetto had a favorite movie and he designed all of his puppets to fight their Happy Gilmore, Gilmore puppets. It was a regular rich people row. You wanted fancy boutiques and shops. <laughs> no place better. But that was long ago. Before the puppet frenzy. Did they already kill all the rich? Is there none left for me? I figured there'd be something. Vivid ergo fragment. This is from the other side, I bet. Oh yeah, I can see it's not lit up from here. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for, the light. The rapier visceral feels so much like a bloodborne visceral. It's nice. Just a general heads up. Yeah, no spoilers, no tips, tricks, hints, guides, or even reminders of things I knew. At one point, as I'm sure many of you are aware, my content, unfortunately for all of us sometimes, comes from me fucking up. Can we pull this dog to us? How far away does this work? Not that far. That far, though. It's pretty good. When does it recharge? Why didn't it get bullet, man? Tiny little shops, these. Hmm. What they do to make it easier? I honestly don't know. I just saw a joke in my friend's Discord that the patch changed a bunch of things, the most recent patch. And they were joking about, oh great, now everyone's gonna be like, yeah, but I beat the game when it was like this, or whatever. I don't actually know what the changes were. Lada F-150 frame. We can make a truck! Oh, it's gonna be easy to get down these streets now. Oh, it's a ring. Or an arm cuff? What is this? More weight. Physical damage reduction rate. Physical damage reduction rate? Armor. Motivity. Physical damage reduction. It's armor. A made-to-order item specific to Lada, the puppet parts workshop. It's been in use for a long time, so despite being heavy, it is reliable. And you are... you go to... 11.61, 15.85, but more weight. And does that, like, change how I work? I honestly don't remember what my dodge looked like before. It feels the same to me. What are these other things? Workshop Union Old Generation Converter. Appendage parts that increase the attribute resistances of a puppet. Okay. An old generation appendage made by the Workshop Union. Its design is old, but it's cheap and effective, so it's still the main one in use. Cartridge prototype. Puppet circulatory system can enhance resistance to special status ailments. A prototype developed by the Workshop Union came into being after various efforts to improve puppet performance. That's also the only one I have. And Workshop Union Certified Liner, which reduces physical damage. A liner made in the dimensions approved by the Workshop Union can be made by anyone as long as it complies with certification standards. So who manufactured it cannot be determined. Got it. That's equipment, other than weapons. Got it. 
I survived 1.0 merit badges means nothing. It's gonna be just like when I streamed the fight with Radon. Lada like a car? That's the first thing I thought. Well, no, F-150. Ford F-150 was, clearly. Lada was the second thing, though. Oh, a fashionable ring. Elden Ring was much harder pre-patch. Yeah, but no one gives a shit. Lies of Petimothée Chalamet. Oh, am I in the dead end? Can I open this? Nope, there are sandbags here. Oh, ladder. Hello. Super safe. I need my reaction to be ready to parry. I see you. Didn't see you for too long now. Do it again. Now, I'm gonna heal. Now you're gonna die. Jerk. You're one of the shortcut devices. You're for the ladder, aren't you? That seems like a complex way to build a ladder. But I bet it's there to signpost things for me, so I appreciate it. Next, we'll have speakers installed into P that blast hard bass out as we zoom around on rollerblades. That looks like the right way to go. Ooh, item. Attribute resistant ampoule. Did I already come through these streets? I truly cannot tell. Is that what the ladder was? A shortcut? That's where I came from. Let me go test that ladder. Bistro de Crat. Champagne, fine dining. Homo machina servers. Are their shirts translucent? Tell me about their shoulders. Yeah, okay, that's a shortcut. I like how they modeled most of the storefronts to look like they've got stuff in them. Probably never would have beat it if they didn't make it easier. Chamber of Machina Workshop. There's that Latin again. Does anyone know what this means? Inveniat viam aut faciet. Hey! Fuck, why did you not target him? We oh, got a lot more health. Hang on. I gotta remember how to do the thing. There it is. That was not it. I'm afraid of dodging here. I did the wrong Fable Art a second ago. I thought I'd parried, but that was not parry. Dude. Timing there. All right, I'm in horrendous shape now. Throwing Cell, Dim Ergo, and Star Fragment. Star Fragments cross dimensions to grant this interface. Special impool made to enhance puppet's attribute resistances, enhances resistance to overheat, electrical shock, decay, and corruption. A robust defensive position is sometimes better than attacking. Disagree. The resistance ampoule was developed to raise puppet's tolerance to abnormal statuses. What were people using their puppets for? Moving right along before we get an answer to that. Where's the item you just gave me? Is it an upper belt or a lower belt thing? Those are the same things, aren't they? Oh, hey, what's this? Parade Leader's Ergo. Ergo obtained from the Parade Master. It's packed with immense power. A treasure hunter may want this rare Ergo. Although the entire audience disappeared in a pool of blood, the Parade Master was cheerful. As long as there's a king, the show must go on. So we have boss souls. But where's the fucking item I just got? These are all the same menu. How do I see... Not an amulet. No. 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 Yeah, it's marked like it's new here. But I already looked at the new things here. What am I missing here? Did anyone actually see what item I picked up? It was a star fragment. It was a star fragment. Where do I read about star fragments? Pomegranates, where are star fragments in the menus?
Here we are. Meteor fragment that can be found in different parts of Krat. It can be used at the Crack's Calling in front of a boss area to summon a specter. Star fragments cross dimensions to grant human wishes. If you wish for it desperately enough, they may be able to summon someone who wants to help save this world. So that's for summoning other players to help with bosses. Let's go ahead and go get our potions back since we have that shortcut. I was reading the other day how Miyazaki came up with the idea and in an interview, he said the reason he, uh, came up with the system of like, oh, just summon someone from a boss fight and then they're gone. You know, you just have this little ships crossing in the night moment was because of people who helped him out when his car broke down to like push it up a hill. And then he never saw them again. Sweet people gone forever. Can't I level up here? Wait, what? Switch Legion Arm. That's not it. Use Storage. That's not it. Level forward to another Stargazer. How do I level up? You can transfer from one Stargazer to another. You can only travel those you've activated Stargazers in areas of the event will be marked with a hint. Uh, I guess take me back to Hotel Krat? Because now I can level there? The show must go on! Out in Venium, via Mount Facium, is Latin for, I shall either find a way or make one. Oh, okay. First word out may be omitted, corresponding to omitting the English word from either in the translation. You need the Shrine Maiden to level up? Previously, I could do it as a Stargazer. Whatever. Level up, please. Um, give me a little more health. Oh, I can only get one level. I'm getting more expensive rapidly. Health is fine for now. Maybe we didn't need to come back just yet. Take me back out there. What exactly did they make easier? Got multiple playthroughs and I'm halfway through one right now, past patch, but I haven't noticed anything yet. I don't know. I didn't take a look at the patch notes. I just saw someone posted an article about it in the Discord I'm in. So it seemed like a good joke for the title. Because, for anyone who wasn't here at the time, Radon was patched to be easier at one point, I guess, before I got around to playing Elden Ring. I should stop trying to parry these guys. It's not worth my time. Uh, And it's all people could talk about when I was fighting him. Which is fine. Good for you. You killed him. Free patch or whatever. I don't think it's important. There's my ladder. All right, is the big one that took so much health from me still going to be here? But they are. Oh, you're a pistol guy? Oh, I'm on the other side. I thought you were the pistol guy. We're already one heal in. Perfect. Now, where do you come from, man who surprised me? Excuse me? Wait, there's an item over there? Fuck. Gemini's Emergency Protection. Temporarily protects death ergo when hit. Oh, I see. So you don't lose it on death. Food for the Cricket Puppet that receives help from Gemini. When used when there is death ergo to reclaim, it reduces the ergo loss from being hit. Wait, what? Wait, if I'm hit while on my way back to pick up my body, I lose ergo? The Gemini model was designed so it could be fed ergo to build affinity. However, no one could have imagined that this model had another ability that was even more special. Don't worry, I'll make sure to protect you. Hmm. Gotcha. Oh, that thrumming in the walls when I'm inside is unsettling. Can't think of how to describe that, but you guys know the sound I mean going on right now? Hang on. 
You have a feeling of bait to you. Nope, we're good. Don't scare me like that, dude. You don't even have a head. Jeez. Can't even see what's down that way. Hi. Oh, I was just about to back up because I got to hear something winding up. Loading, as it turns out. Not winding up. All right, that was to the right. Too slow. They love enemies around corners. That's what I'm learning so far. A sharp pipe. Which is a throwable? Is that the throwable icon? A sharp pipe that can be thrown. It passes through the enemy and inflicts piercing damage. Some throwable weapons boast great destructive power on their own when combined with the strength of puppets. Nothing more need be said. Yeah, I was about to say, it pierces through. The technique with which we throw that. And the fucking force. Pop off while I'm thinking of it. Nice reactions, though. Thank you. Maybe it makes a cool whistling sound as it's thrown. I need to know why you a dog. This is how my creator made me. I was made in the image of Geppetto's own puppy, lost shortly before my my birth. I wear this with honor. I hope that answers your question. You can turn your lamp on. The game will tell me when the game's ready to tell me you can turn your lamp on. For now, I'm going to forget you can do that. Not because I will myself to, I'm just going to forget within seconds. But thanks for trying. Do I want to go down this way? Hang on, there was a little ladder up. This is like a big old fucking street, isn't it? Is that a stargazer? That's an item. What's in the other direction real quick? someone coughing? Hey! Okay. Well, how can I get to you? Shucking batteries? Hey, what's up, Shojo? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, friend. I enjoyed the Koi Koi stream with Tino yesterday. I hope you had a good time. He's literally just chucking batteries. Safe word? Yes. No hints, tips, tricks, or spoilers. We're here to see how well I do on my own merits. I think we already all have a sense in our minds of how I'll do, but we're here to see. Oh, I'm frightened by these guys, but let's keep going this way. Oh, your weapon is so much longer than mine, of course. Is there a battery coming down now? It's my last heal. Attack enemies with a weapon to charge your pulse cells. Okay, I will. Also, just to survive. Dude, the shock hit me right when I wanted to dodge there. Shit. And now I have that status effect. I don't know what that means. Also, I don't know where I can go or where I should go. We're in trouble. I guess we commit to this direction. Away we go. I see two enemies, one of them pistol wielding. I see three. I saw him just as I dropped. I committed though. You can't say I didn't commit. Death number one. A sad, sad death number one. Game already told you? Okay. Electric shock occurs when electric blitz damage builds up. Both your character and the monsters will take increased electric blitz and physical damage. Your characters will receive continuous damage to your Fable slots. Monsters will experience increased stagger damage. 
higher your electric blitz resistance, the slower the electric shock gauge's charge speed. Wait, I didn't follow any of that. I was just thinking about how I actually am annoyed. I already forgot what the game told me about the lamp. <laughs> I wasn't taking in any of that information. Stream shall be my entertainment while I use my new step machine. Jacob, a black iron straight sword over here is my motivation. Hope the step machine works out well for you. Good you're getting up on it. Is Hydra the werewolf of London? Paris, I believe. Oh, prop. This is France, right? I'm not sure if it's made clear. Electric shock, electric blitz, got it. Both your character and monsters will take increased blitz and physical damage when shock is on. You'll receive continuous damage to your fable slots, and monsters will experience increased stagger. Higher your blitz resistance, the slower I get it. I'm caught up now. Let's go get back. I've sunk completely again. God damn it. Mm. It's European capital coded. Why is that so fucking funny? <laughs> Isn't Pinocchio Italian? Pinocchio is a puppet. But with real human shoulders. Call him Atlantis the way he's sinking. That chair does that too, it's so annoying. Hang on. No one's shooting me right now, right? I'll tab. Refresh. Oh my god! I'll be back in one second. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Don't need this tab anymore. So, my chair has been sinking. So I have a new gas cylinder for it. Now, gas cylinders are very hard to pull out of both halves of the chair. They get pretty wedged in there when you put your chair together and sit on it for a while. So... I also got a pipe wrench on the recommendation of one guide to replacing the cylinder in your chair. Now, I have never ever worked with pipes in my life. I don't have a lot of tools. I did about two hours of research and I ended up getting a very expensive lifetime warranty pipe wrench made of aluminum, so it's way lighter. It's much larger than I need. Yeah, it's this way is just a pound for its size. Lifetime warranty. I'm going to pick this thing up three times in my life. I don't need a lifetime. Any pipe wrench would have a lifetime warranty in my hands is what I'm saying. I posted about this on Discord, hoping other people would be like, Oh yeah, I over-research things too. No one's responded that way, so maybe it's rarer than I think, but that's the kind of person I am. Bioshock cosplay is 50% done. Oh, I'm so excited. Alright, we're not gonna do live chair repair on stream, like I joked about earlier. I just don't have the camera angles for it. But we're, I'm gonna fix my chair later tonight. This is exciting. You go back down there. 
Cool, cool, cool. As a professional plumber, that's a pretty wrench. It's a rigid, rigid brand pipe wrench. Yeah, it's quite nice. Hardware stream, only one pound, that's crazy. Now nah, I over-researched things too. Now let's take a pipe wrench to these guys. Is this the direction I'm going? Yes it is, because you're the pistol man that I misremembered backwards the last time. And I can ignore everyone else this time around. At least you can go overkill and buy a snap-on wrench. True. True. Partly because it's inconvenient to buy snap-on tools unless you're like into that whole culture. You gotta like know someone to buy snap-on tools. I don't know how their fucking business works. But partly because, oh my god. You can spend a lot of money on snap-on tools. Ooh, timed that. But now I can't figure out where I'm standing. Shit. Nah. There we go. Alright, one hit and that whole frenzy is okay with me. I can deal. Now I have to use a pipe wrench if there is one in this game. Kind of hoping we find one, but... I doubt it's going to be a dex weapon if we do. Oh, I can see how much air goes waiting for me up top. That's cool. Uh, very cool. Especially knowing that it will go down. That's a way easier way of dealing with those guys. Wish I had a ranged attack for you. There's no way I can throw this that far, right? I guess if I can throw a pipe through someone. That makes sense. Snap on dry vans around drive vans around to workshops and offer credit. They're very good at selling their very good tools. Oh, I've heard snap on tools are incredible. I imagine they're worth the money if you're a professional. I mean, I probably overspent on this. But it's probably worth the money if you're a professional. I I, I didn't mean to impugn snap on tools, just they're kind of hard to buy if you're not in a workshop, and you probably don't need to spend that much. Your dog's growling because of the dog in game. Sorry about that. Throwables are busted in this game. Pro baseball start uh, star in the making. Oh, when you said start, I thought you just meant starting pitcher. That still worked. Dude. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What's rumbling away down there? Or up there? What am I hearing? Oh, you. Gotcha. Where's the one that's hanging off that thing? Give me a sense of direction here. Which way, where did I come from? Huh? Cotton Eye Joe, where? Hey. I do not like you spear guys. We're gonna do a lot more puppet string on you spear guys, I think. It's easier than trying to dodge that first big swing of yours. Also, I didn't miss the ladder, I was just checking. That enemy's new. Let's go try the area up the ladder first. Maybe I can fall on them. You got to imagine if they made a robot baseball league, the pitchers were just crazy. Chimney sweep spear guys, one hit you so easily. Are you going to lie a lot in this game? I have no idea. We've lied so far. We've only had one choice, but we chose to lie that time. Very tempted to say human. But Geppetto has built us for lying, so... Lie we shall. What could be more human than that? I see it. Vivid fragment. Fable catalyst and throwing cell. Throwing cell, of course, from that guy. Another fable catalyst. Yeah, nearly just walked into that hole. 
Now, are you telling me drop attack because there's an enemy right here? Isn't this the room I was looking in before? It is, but there is an enemy that I hadn't noticed. And then there's you, who it doesn't look like I can drop on. Great. I should have gone down in that street earlier. We'll have to explore that later. All right, anyway, you first. Nothing, nothing. Gotcha. Oh, this isn't the room I looked into before. That is over here. And there's no one in here. Frozen man's letter. My Louise and Charlotte me treasure. I can't hear anything. I think the streets are already dead. Nothing but silence. I assume that I too will become just another petrified corpse soon. I still remember the sound of your singing voice and the sight of Charlotte looking at picture books. I miss all of it. The best thing I did when I was alive was send you and Charlotte to the Cathedral for shelter. I wish this nightmare was all over. If only you and the kid could come back, but I guess now it's impossible. I love you, Louise. I pray that you're safe there. Sweet of them. Decent accent. Thank you. Please keep that character. 12 out of 10. I'd listen to Stairway to Heaven on repeat on Step Machine. Plunging attacks are back. 10 minutes, 335 steps, 45 calories, out of shape, priceless. That's a fantastic start. Well done. Dude, it's always depressing when you look at those calorie counts. Unlike exercise machines, I'm sure you know. So remember, I was trying to heal. So remember that 45 is actually a lot. Actually, let's just fucking do this. What am I what am I thinking about going over there for? Oh, because I'm gonna get trapped in a tiny little space if I'm not careful. Shit. There we go. I couldn't get the last hit in before. Not too bad. Not too bad. Goals 10 minutes a day, three times a week. That's great. Yeah, I think that's a good, like, realistic, but it's going to make a difference sort of goal. Life amulet. That sounds like wearable. No, okay, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, no, there's a whole amulets thing. Increase max HP. An amulet that can be equipped on a puppet. You would think if the puppet is human-shaped, any amulet could be equipped on it, but okay. Information and memories that are useful for movement can be imprinted on the symbol to draw out special patterns. Powers, wait. So you take, like, the illustrations from a Let's Learn Karate book and you put them on a pin? The slightest blink is enough to make a puppet move. Puppets do not have life, but it is enough to move them. Oh, wait, at the end there, that was poetic. Puppets don't have life, but it's enough to move them. The slightest blink is enough to make a puppet move. That makes it sound like it's all in your head. Made our way to another stargazer. Uh, I would like to go level really quick and then go to the last stargazer and go down into the street and see what was in that direction. Those throwing cells really did you well there. They did a lot of damage. I was hoping for even more, but they did a lot of damage. Okay, we're handy. You have to visceral kill some enemies. Not that I found. No, you don't have to. I'll use my power to help you. What do these other things do? Vigor is stamina. My stamina is okay so far. Capacity is weight, legion, defenses. I mean, everything seems to be defenses. I don't need that yet. Motivity is strength, advances. What is advance? Advance increases legion. Legion is my arm power. Legion is my arm. Yeah, give me more technique. Who is busting up all these stargazers? I would assume the puppets, but I mean, they're not human beings. They're just things. So I don't know why. Well, I guess they've, you know, 
broken up a lot of carts and stuff, so maybe they don't give a shit what's a human and what's not. I, I was just assuming they're going after humans. Want me to look at something? Advances Bloodborne Arcane? I think it's different. Because you didn't have a robotic arm with, like, a certain amount of separate power that Arcane... You know, I actually forget what Arcane does in Bloodborne. Maybe it is. I don't know. Do you get a Jiminy Cricket-style conscience friend? Yes, I have Gemini in a lamp. I do not know what Gemini is or what they do, but they've called themselves a robot. Upgrade weapon. We have no more Moonstones. Alter handle. We still don't have a Motivity crank. Or no, actually, we don't need one of these because these change the balance. Wait, wait, wait. Could I make this even better for technique? Yes, I could give up all motivity scaling and go from a B to an A, and it would increase my overall attack by six. Interesting, but I haven't gotten any of those cranks yet. Got it, got it, got it. This is true, Bloodborne had no puppets. Oh, wait. And they're actually a Taurus, so they lie. Let's head back out there. Take me to the first one, not inside the house, to the entrance real quick. When you go up the ladder, through some of the building, oh, we have to do that fight with the, the like three guys in one room. I don't love that area, but I think I know how to do it better than I did last time. I think I know. So far, I'm really enjoying this game. It runs smoothly, it feels good. I have um actually zero complaints thus far, but we're only a very little way in. Just wanted to let you know how it feels to this point. Gemini, well, I'm a Pisces, so that's just not compatible. I think you've got trouble with compatibility. I'm a Scorpio, and I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but from everything I've gathered, it's not good. I'm so weirded out, there was a big guy here who's not here anymore. Whatever, though. Still amazed how well this game looks. Runs just as smooth on Xbox 2. That's nice. I think more companies should prioritize smooth, nearly locked, or locked 60 on consoles. It's how a huge portion of your fans are going to experience it. Of course, I'm also not, you know, it's like... I don't care nearly as much about some special graphic stuff, like all the extra things you have in cyberpunk or something as other people, so it's easier for me to say that. I care less about what I'm giving up when I ask them to do that. Pleasantly surprised by the damage of the rapier. Usually they make it so you need to hit a lot. What happens when you kill something, they tend to not show up anymore. I assume they fall into scrap, and I take their ergo. And I am made stronger. So it's a pretty good deal for me. I thought consoles ran games at 30s, or is that the old standard? They run a lot of things at 30. I mean, it's game by game. Some games they can run at 30, some they can run at 60, some they can run at 120. I think PS5 and Xbox Series X both support up to 120. I don't think they do over 120. But there are 120 FPS games on uh, consoles too. Or you know there's a shortcut that I missed earlier? Which one are you? Did I never need to go through that um, three enemy room? Oh, hey. I remember coming to that door from the other side, but I forget kind of where I am. The stargazer is not down there. Where the fuck am I? Stargazer is ahead and to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what the shortcut is. We don't need it now, but I... In fact, I need to go back to the thing. So I can teleport ahead. But the point is... Oh, free star fragment. The point is, all I missed was... A shortcut. Dude, the recovery when you glance off of something is long. I was mashing attack there because I swore I was going to be ready before he swung at me, and I was incorrect. Long recovery. Take me back to the front. 
game was made with UE5, that's why it looks so good. I don't usually care for graphics. God damn, this game is beautiful. I'm glad they didn't do ray tracing or anything. I'm preferring the smooth performance to what I'd probably get with ray tracing. They resisted the UE5 ray tracing checkbox, which was wise of them, probably. Actually, wait. It's changed ray tracing on a game recently. It wasn't this, right? This doesn't have ray tracing, does it? Graphic detail settings. No, okay, good, yeah. I'm glad they didn't. Expectably complete lost in about a few hours or so. Uh, wait. Going into this a hydro, not knowing what's going on? Oh, in re regards to your rapier. Surprise. Design's fantastic too. Architecture is styled so well. Hello there again, shopkeep. Why, hello. <laughs> I didn't know anyone was alive out here. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but I'm not a burglar. <laughs> I'm just crashing in an abandoned house for a while. It's not what I was thinking. Don't worry. I won't cause any trouble. I am now, though. The survivors need to look out for each other. Uh, for your information, I didn't steal this. See, you really <laughs> think the burglar doth protest too much. Electric coil stick head and handle. Blunt. Scales with advance. So not quite for me, but cool. The head of a blunt weapon made by Venini Company to destroy puppets. <gasps> the coil releases a powerful current that causes lethal damage to puppets. Humans have always feared anything that excels beyond them. Puppets were already their loyal servants, but humans have created a new natural enemy that is sure to attack their weakness. Electric coil stick handle. The handle of a blunt weapon made to destroy puppets. Much effort went into the handle's insulation for the sake of the user's safety. The powerful electrical blitz was clearly effective in killing puppets. However, its inventor failed to realize that it was also effective on humans. Gemini's Iron Protection. Was that what it was called before? No, wait, this is a different thing. Temporarily be maintained in case of death. I had this. This... I don't, know, I don't feel like reading more. I get the idea. It protects your death ergo. I think it's when you're going to die. Or maybe it is after you die and you're trying to get back to it. Not sure. Press the button. Okay, not for me. That's not very well insulated, unlike the handle of the club. What do you mean, burglar? He said he wasn't many times. That's why I think burglar. Missed that weapon somehow, but it seems really good. How many customers is he getting in the abandoned house in the middle of the robot uprising city? You gotta go where the customers are. How's the line going? Not so great. We've only lied once. But I guess on the other hand, we have 100% efficacy in lying. So pretty good. Yeah, we're liars. What about it? You protected? Yeah, of course you are. Hang on a sec. Hmm. Interesting to see if you can fail a lie. Oh, you're just untrusting. Shit, the corner. No worries, no worries. Oh, these still look breakable. The way they're laid out. Oh, well. Hey. Uh, don't do that. No, 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 no. Walk along that edge. I'm not sure there's a reason to, but you can. Hey, okay. fuck off. Same to you. Have this game, but don't play it enough. My brother in America. Maybe he's not actually selling. He just sells to you so you don't kill him like the others. Maybe he just sells to me to try and prove he's not a burglar. Death number two. Send me more bosses. These deaths are pathetic, but I'm good with the bosses. Give me more bosses. Where's the where's the next parade? Where's a kid's birthday party or something? Are all bosses at like festivals? 
When is Dia de los Muertos? I'll fight the robot god of Dia de los Muertos. Ooh, gravity build sucks. Gravity build up sucks, excuse me. I thought you were saying the enemy had a gravity build. You mean gravity, the status effect. I get ya. Ball damage is a thing. Good to know we're learning. I feel like ball damage shouldn't be a thing for me. I'm made of like materials. Come on. You know, materials. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about the guy climbing up behind me, but let's try and save a throne item by getting you before they get up here. Vignini's Crot Landmark Guide 2. Did I miss one? This month's attraction, Alchemist Bridge. The Alchemist Bridge is the bridge on Elysian Boulevard and the main way to Crot City Hall. The Holy Ouroboros, the mark of the Alchemists, is fittingly engraved into the bridge. This shows that the Alchemists are not just a powerful, privileged class, but have also dominated tremendous amounts of money. Donated, not dominated. Sorry, I was just thinking about how powerful they were. Donated tremendous amounts of money across the city. Thanks to the thriving culture of philanthropy and crot, you can find areas with names of prominent figures. It's like the city's motto. The citizens are the owners of the city, but not really. It's the aristocrats. Let's all be serious here. The most widely known attraction is Rosa Isabel Street. It's named after the cultural sponsor, Lady Isabel Monad. But if you think about how the ladies married to the leader of the alchemists, Valentinus, you'll think twice about who really is in control of Kraut. The union of Kraut's old families and the organization of alchemists is shown in this symbolic form. Given that the sacred Ouroboros mark is engraved on City Hall as well, it's obvious who owns the city of Kraut. Rating 3 out of 5, a good place to learn about Kratz's beginning and its essence, Reporter Midoro. This guide was made with the support of Venini Company, but may not reflect the company's opinions. <laughs> I love that disclaimer page at the end. Hang on, reset. Okay, we're back. Oh yeah, rich people who donate, the clear justification for capitalism. Do we know what made the robots go crazy? We do not. Lost, ergo, recovered. That's not the case. Those are opposite words. It's not lost, ergo, it's recovered. I don't know what you're talking about, game. <sighs> yeah, I regret starting in on this bit, too. Grammar jokes, anyone? Meanings of word bits? We've got two ladders all the way down. Hello? I can sense something... Strange. Jeepers. Is that a butterfly? It is. Why is the ergo reacting like that? If you want to check it out, I can take point. Please, let's check it out. There are butterfly, sugar, baby. I can't interact with it. Do I, do I, do I strike you? Huh? Dimensional butterfly. Occasionally, a dimensional butterfly will appear in parts of Krat. Monad's lamp can detect the butterfly, lighting up red to point out its location. When the character is near... Colors don't point things, but whatever. When the character is near the hiding butterfly, it will appear. After a certain amount of time, the butterfly will disappear in into another dimension. Kill it to gain useful materials! I was supposed to strike it. You found the crystal lizards? Great. I don't regret it. It's been my silent pet peeve how they use ergo as a noun instead of a conjunction. I feel vindicated now. You found the crystal lizards. I wish they hadn't chosen ergo as the word for souls. Therefore, therefore. Sounds about right. We're so powerful and great, but look at this bridge we built. We care so much. I ain't did too good with grammar and English speaking. If a guy was killing everyone around and came up to me and was like, how much for your stuff? I'd tell them a random number and hope they'd be happy. Are you a merchant? I'm a merchant! I'm a so a merchant. I'm out here to help you, the customer. I am a merchant. Warning, petrification disease quarantine zone. No trespassers. Everyone is a patient. Mm. Or a lunatic, do not speak to them. Is that last part about the disease 
going around or just your general feelings on people? Did I miss something in the streets back here? Because there's like these streets. I kind of feel like we should be all about these streets. Let's go investigate below. I see two dogs there. You getting up? Oh shit. Not two at once. Why am I attacking this direction? It's so dark I couldn't see which way I was facing and I thought I'd already targeted them. Who are you? You're new. Are you just like a trap? I did not dodge forward. What's happening? Can I hit these and then run safely? I can. Oh, hey, you're like the one before that was really dangerous. Oh, God. There's another one coming. And I don't have a heal selected? Dude, trying to pay attention to my health, to your health, to whether it's outlined in white. I gotta pick which elements I'm focusing on in this game, because I don't have the attention for all of them. That's the second time I faced one of those guys, and it's not gone great. Who's that? Puppets don't cough. Who's coughing? Be right with you, one second. Whoa! Oh, come the fuck up. I wish we could play together. <coughs> like we used to. Who is it? Is that you, Murphy? Oh, I guess not. Sorry, I, I thought you were my friend, Murphy. Murphy is a super cool police officer. Okay. As a puppet, even the petrification disease can't get him. Your friend's not coming I around again, like Toma. <laughs> and if he does, don't open the window. You should leave so you don't catch the disease from me. All right, so the puppets have all gone mad. The humans have a plague going through that freezes them or something? The humans are dealing with some plague. Why am I not mad, nor have the plague? Is it because I'm a good boy? How am I escaping these fates? Everyone becomes mannequins eventually. Are the horses real or are they also robots? You know, I meant to look down and figure that out earlier and I forgot something attacked me. Ah uh, yes, the butterfly orientation. Everybody doesn't think to kill the butterfly and then immediately regrets it after. This wasn't plucked from Bloodborne at all. First time I've ever seen something like this before. This is so original. Workshop Union Standard Insulation Converter. Enhanced resistance to electric shock weighs 2.5 pounds more. I mean, physical damage reduction up, fire damage reduction up, electric blitz, acid damage, fire resistance, electric blitz, and acid resistance. Yeah, that puts me at 53%, which doesn't appear to change anything. These are all good developments. These are all no-brainer equipment changes to make so far. Yeah, I can't go over this way. None of that stuff moves. But we didn't explore as far as I could walk in this direction. How many heals have I got left? One. Great. I see a dog. I wonder how I get more puppet string. I probably items to recharge it, right? And then I bet it recharges every time I go back to uh, the thing. Hidden moonstone. 
could find. No enemy? Really looks like this is the kind of place I should be. Can you backstab dogs? No. Hey, guy. Check this gate before I go down that hallway. That alleyway. Is this the shortcut from earlier? No, this is a shortcut for later. Okay. Plagues and madness don't affect shoulder people. Too human for madness, too shoulders for plague. Ah, oh, Moonstone, you can evolve your Clefairy now. A good boy never gets sick. Only oh, that was the case. Yeah, I see the trap. But I don't yet know what sets them off other than me. Apparently it's anything happening around them. Is that just set it off? I feel like something's gonna fall on my head soon. I can upgrade my blade again. Two moonstones is all I needed. Well, that and ergo, but I've got tons of ergo for it. All right, I think that's everything down here on the street level. I didn't notice any other alleyways or whatever going around. We can go back up and go on. Fuck yes, Liza P. What's up, Yidus? Good to see you. Happy Sunday, friendo. Hey, I haven't said the schedule in a while. Samantha, this coming week is Thanksgiving week. I will be going to Maine to spend it with my family from early Wednesday, and I'll be staying right through the following Tuesday morning. So we're going to have an irregular schedule until a week from this Tuesday or Wednesday. One more week beyond those. But I'm planning on streaming either tomorrow and Tuesday or maybe just Tuesday. Though I think we're going to do chill sort of holiday week streams. I very, very much want to play the highly regarded, in fact, nominated for awards, 3D puzzle games Viewfinder and Cocoon. And I think I might be able to do one of them a night, start to finish, maybe tomorrow and Wednesday. Or Tuesday. So this week will be a little bit odd, but things like Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077, and this Lies of P will return when I am back. Now this coming week, but the week after. Also, speaking of nominated for awards, hello. Trap. Hang on. Speaking of nominated for awards, the Game Awards are coming up on Thursday, December 7th, a couple weeks away, a few weeks away. We're going to be watching them together if you're interested and have time. And in the Discord, there are links to make some predictions. And if you get the most predictions correct, you will win yourself a special, and you get out of here, Discord roll for a year to prove that you are a video game oracle. Please tell me you'll come somewhere near here and can do a plunging attack on your fucking head. You won't? You make me so sad. What are these throwing things do I have? I have three of them still. Let's deal with this lady first. Hello? Talk. You're a shadow puppet. Oh. This must be your first time in the petrification disease quarantine zone. For most people, this is their last stop. You are a good Samaritan for coming all the way here. I am one. May I ask you a favor? Shoot. My family took my baby from me and sent me here. They said it was for my own good. But it was heartless, just the same. A baby must be with its mother. Please go to Quart City Hall and bring me my baby. Oh, this is this is not something I'm suited to. I, you, I know I have the beautiful shoulders 
of a human, but like you can't hug your baby with puppet arms. I have a hook shot on one of mine. I guess I'll find her. Thank you so much, kind one. I can finally see my sweet Elena's face again. Please hurry. Heart scales spreading across my eyes. Before I lose my sight. Please. She said the baby was at City Hall. Should we check it out? I guess, Gemini, but like... Everybody's safe. Am I gonna hold the baby out while I'm fighting? Am I gonna stuff the baby in my inventory? Oh, that's dark. That's heavy. Now, babies are very small. They're not that heavy. Now, that puppet is actually a cop one, and they are scary. Yes. Not harpooning the baby. By the way, fucking lie. Put baby in pocket. Baby escort mission. We'll see. You got anything more to say? Waiting and hoping is all I can do. Please find my baby at City Hall. All right, come back this way so I can throw things at you, please. Sir? Oh, you're doing it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Fuck you. Fuck the police! Oh, he's mad. Ah, thought I could kill him in time. Prot police baton head and baton handle. Those don't happen to be for me, do they? They are based on motivity primarily, so no, they are not for me. Head from the self-defense baton used by Crot police. The hard cudgel can be used to bash all kinds of puppets. After the violent protests with the factory labor union to become customary for police batons and Crot to be painted black. The reason needs no explanation. To hide the blood? I don't... That sounds bad, but I don't get it. Handle from the self defense font. Groove lines make for a firm grip. It can be assembled with any blade. Do not ever rob a police officer's home. You won't go to prison. It's a one-way ticket to the sewers with a head smashed by a police baton. The advice of a retired petty thief. I forgot about handles. So, like, what are the abilities here? Single slash. Oh, but handles affect scaling. So we aren't going to use handles unless there are actually technique handles. Never mind. Not as useful to know what they all are, then. Maybe shouldn't be that hard, considering we put a horse in our pocket in games. You playing on Xbox? I'm not. I am playing on PC. It itches, peels the skin, and there's blood, blood, blood. Pretty cocoon, blue angel, joyful appetite, blue death. The feast, death, death, and death. I'm alive. It itches. No, that was itchy tasty. For a sec, I was like, did they just, is this a... Are they stealing writing from Resident Evil 1? Hello? Were your eyes lit up red before? Or did you just wake up when I came near enough? Oh, you actually do warn the others? Didn't realize they could hear when you did that. They certainly don't hear when I walk up behind them, so I assumed it was safe. Another sawtoothed wheel. Perfect parry, they break immediately. Let me figure out the game. I mean, I'll probably never figure out perfect parries, but we try. Probably go to bed soon. Night hider and have a good Thanksgiving. Thanks for hanging out, Janie. Have a wonderful evening. If you're celebrating, an excellent Thanksgiving as well. Ah, oh, wrong timing. I'm trying to use my super special parry. Hello. 
good. Seems we're good. And save. Vignini's Urgent Repair Tool. I haven't looked at what those are. Maybe they're instant repairs, like if you're in the middle of a fight and you don't have time to use the grind wheel safely. Purge puppies? Oh no, purge puppets. Wait, I'm a puppet, purge puppets? Oh my God, look what they did to Lumiere. We'll go this way in a minute. I thought you said Panini Instant Repair Tool, which would make sense because if your Panini came apart, I mean, you'd want to repair it pretty fast. But your person passing, it's all on the shoulders. You're also a puppies too, am I? They also, these look like real horses, not robot horses. Someone's battering on something. We'll come this way in a minute. Let's get another shortcut to that electrified um, elevator. You gotta hit it twice. Yeah, it is a shortcut back to the Stargazer. Wait, so what? I just opened two shortcuts. Why do I need the other if this goes back to the Stargazer? Where does the other one go to? Let me go check that before I hit the Stargazer and respawn everyone. And now I'm assuming the Purge the Puppets direction will be a boss, and that's why I've got a shortcut back to a Stargazer here. Where does this go? Homo Machina. Oh, I remember where I am. Weird. What's the benefit of having a shortcut back here, though? <laughs> Whatever. It's not a problem or anything. It's a dramatic tension builder, not an elevator. Oh, it's doing its job fantastically, then. Can't wait to meet you, so join the Samantha family. Missing what song was this? All right, we can repair, so let's head back to, or not repair, we can upgrade is what I mean. Let's head back to Hotel Krat. Also, that's the only place we can level, so let's head back to Hotel Krat. Homo Machina is the name of my erotic steampunk band. Perfect. Perfect. I used to play bass in Homo Machina. Oh, I think I used to wrestle under the name Homo Machina. There was um, this How Stuff Works podcast I used to listen to when I worked correcting maps and needed audio content to keep me sane for like eight hours a day. And uh, that was their running joke. You know how people say like, you know, oh, that's my favorite band or I used to play bass for a band called that or so on. Every time something in their explanations came up with that sort of ring to it, they'd be like, oh yeah, I used to play bass in Homo Machina. And the other would then go, I used to wrestle under the name Homo Machina in college. Hey, what's up, Emmy? Good to see you. Lurk while I wow nerd. Thank you so much for the lurk. Love this game. I'm only a short ways in, one boss in, but so far I'm very impressed. Yeah, it's great. I know my way around a weapon. Emmy well, USB, another something? streamer, Samantha. Highly recommend. She focuses on a lot of first plays, similar to what I often do. So if you like this stream, there's a very high chance you'll like hers. YouTube, that's twitch.tv slash E-M-Y-U-S-B. Check her out, everyone. Give her a follow before you forget. Uh, what was I doing? Upgrading my weapon. I don't know if I have the thing for the handle, but we can check in a second. Wintry Rapier's Blade goes up 10. Sure. And have I gotten anything for the handle? I need four for the next upgrade to that. Still don't have any cranks. Do you buy cranks? Anything new to talk to you about? No. Anything new to talk to you about? I'll use my power to help you. Gotta get back to work. Thanks for hanging out, Abby. Hope work goes well and quickly. Have a good one, friendo. Anything I want to buy from you before I want to go? Welcome to Hotel Crab. If you don't have anything to sell, it's How all going to leveling. Service. 
I feel like a cyberpunk NPC who says, I know my way around a weapon, would have a very different tone. Make sure to get booster axe. Don't give me advice. You're here to see me play as suboptimally as possible without realizing. But I appreciate the instinct. It's kind of you to try. There's no saving me. Give up now. My bad. No worries. Uh, you sell Fable Catalyst Legion Magazine Sawtooth Wheeling Quartz. What's Quartz again? Activates a special ability when equipped with a P organ. Okay, I still don't know what the P organ is. I'm going to assume it's my arm for now. But I've, I've forgotten or missed that in the conversation. Let's level. I'll use my power to help you. Don't get booster axe then. Perfectly cancelled out. Perfect. <laughs> um, da, 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 what do I need? Wait, if we're going to do a boss, let's put one in there. And then a lot more into technique for damage. Oh, we're starting to have... Well, diminishing returns on legion arm, but not on weapon. On we go. Eighty-six, perfect. We even have a very low number we're risking going out there. We'll see if I'm right about this boss thing, which I definitely am. Not yet gotten a quartz tutorial. Oh yeah, damage. That's the hydro we know. I mean, they they, they don't seem to be doing a ton of damage to me, honestly. In terms of percentage of my maximum health, only a couple attacks have made me that scared, really. I made a marker so I can clip that and mash it up with me getting one shot by the coming boss, don't worry. New HP, all damage, classic, classic fool. Because you decide to throw batteries instead of fighting the big bad cop. Guess what I got to do today? The time-honored tradition of backtracking through vendors in an RPG to find that one item you sold hours ago, which it turns out you need back. Oh no. Wait, was this in Baldur's Gate 3? Is it going to happen to me too? Alright. There's a dude here. He's a big dude with a big old weapon. He's this dude. He's being... There's two dudes here. Forgot. I thought there was one dude. Uh, is it... All right, you can fuck off. I'm going this way. You didn't hear me, so you don't get to fight me. Now then. All puppets will be destroyed. Who said that? How did you project that into my mind? You got a lot to answer for. Wait, is that a human? I'm not supposed to hurt humans, but then I'm not supposed to you lie. You know what caused the puppet frenzy, don't you? You're their maker, practically their father. You and the alchemist scheming together. Tell me the truth. What's your problem? I'm here for the old man. Get lost. I'm here for the old man, too. Wait. I know you. Or more like I know what you are. Put my shoulders. You're the devil's puppet. You can see through my can't joints. Sneak past Shit. Me? Die! Wait, is that literally like a giant version of the... Oh shit, I was looking at your name. Then string you up on the bridge. There's a lucky interrupt there. Ah, I'm late on so many of these. That is so fucking slow. And then this. Cursed puppet. That again. <laughs> Always ready. There we are. That's nice. How do you feel about puppet string? If I can hit you. Interesting. Fuck, stop that, man. It's making me nervous, so I'm getting early about all of my attempts at parrying. Still got him. Wolf beats donkey. Dog beats donkey. Good boys beat donkeys. I win. Better? A 
I mean, we already lied. Are you, like, programmed to know that this is a worse breach of the rules? Oops. Apparently you are. But Dad's proud. Finally. We meet. Son. Oh, I'm glad turning on humans had a happy ending after true. all. Seeing you like this, I understand why some people despise me. I don't. You look great. I invented the puppets after all. I should take responsibility as their maker. But in order for me to do that, I need to take care of the puppets at City Hall. Won't you help me, son? Take this. You'll find it most useful. <sighs> mad donkey's hunting apparel and the mad don't take this. You'll find it most useful. You just pulled the mask off a guy I killed. You're weird. And also, seriously, while making that pretty weak joke, I missed everything else he gave me. Why are notifications so... And things I'm trying to read on screen for so little time. Pomegranates. What did he just give me? What did I get? Mask worn by the mad donkey. It's the mask of one blindly seeking the truth. The madman wanted to find the real truth. Blinded by his stubbornness, he failed to see the approach of death. Hunting apparel of the mad donkey. It reeks of brutal violence. The madman who was now terminally ill no longer feared puppets or the petrification disease. He simply wanted to know the truth. The reason for his colleague's bloodshed. Does it look good? Yeah, we'll wear it for a while, actually. I like the lighter color gear just because this game's so dark. <laughs> it's easier to see me with this on. The outfit plus mask. He gave me more, though. No pleasure island for this donkey. There were some mats as well. Drip donkey. A key and enigma tool. Hang on. Will they be marked new in this menu still? Okay. Ah, Enigma Assembly Tool. A tool that can assemble and disassemble a weapon's blade and handle. Nice! Weapon Assemble is available through Stargazers and Eugenie. When dealing with a non-human enemy, it was necessary to do away with common sense. The workshop and the stalkers assembled various blades and handles, focusing on making the greatest weapons. When dealing with a non-human enemy, it was necessary to do away with common sense. It's a hell of a statement. Is that how deer hunters feel? I guess they don't think of deer as the enemy, but as prey. That's a weird sentiment. I'm going to the extremes, but then I'm a comedian, so I always do. I picture, like, these puppets. They're not like any humans we fought before. They're different. We need to tear off our clothes and go back to the hills. Sense means nothing anymore. Math is a lie. That's where my mind goes. <laughs> I want to hear all about your experiences, but now isn't a good time. Use the stalker's key to open the bridge door. Then get rid of the frenzied puppets that have seized City Hall. We'll catch up at Hotel Croc when you're done. I want to hear... Use the... We'll catch up. Okay. Non-human becoming an even broader category. Also, I know there's no hints, but Hotel Kratz has a cat. Do your own dirty work, old man. Anemia tool, key. An extra pulse charge. Oh, really? Hopefully I'm about to get a stargazer. It looks like there's one waiting for me up there. I've got four pulse charges now. That would be fucking delightful. I run through the three I have so rapidly. We got half of what we need to upgrade our blade again. That must be the key he gave me. Do I keep those in case I ever want to check them for, you know, like, lore, or do you just use them up immediately? When you're done with them, you drop them. Where are they, where are they, uh, collectibles? No, where are they, um, I don't know where they would be kept. Functional items? Apparently I have a key ring somewhere that hides all those keys. That's fine. I assume that means they didn't put, like, key lore on keys. Oh, he meant physical puppets, not metaphorical puppets at City Hall. So about that weapon assembly tool you were talking about. Yeah? 
If you find any more weapons, let's try using them here. Assemble weapons through Eugenie at the hotel or at the Stargazers in different areas. Separate your weapons into blade and handle, and assemble them into new weapons that match your character's battle style. A weapon's features are decided by the handle and blade combo. New weapons assembler. I see. So, like I said, this is scaling, plus it has an ability connected to it. It also determines one of the attack types, which I didn't realize before. This determines two attack types, and it is straight damage and stuff and art this doesn't plus guard this so yeah the handle is all of the scaling interesting huh i would have thought they'd do that the other way around that the type of blade would be attached to what stats it scales with and then the handle would be more sort of utility type huh okay interesting Especially seeing as the blade... Yeah, you know, seeing as you upgrade the blade and you just rebalance the handle... So I guess as you get cranks, if you like the utility of one handle, you can rebalance it to scale the way you want. It seems like you want to keep a handful of blades, but no more. Because you're going to upgrade them. And then the handles, you want to just cycle through. But when the handles are the scaling, you're disincentivized to cycle through them unless you go redo how they scale. Trust the system. I know my way around a weapon. Two out of four. Still none of these. Leveling it is. Didn't they say something about not making sense anymore? They did. Power. The very design of their weapons reflects that, you're right. You can turn Gemini's lantern on? Yeah, I forgot the controls. Someday I'll experiment. Someday. More damage. Mad Donkey didn't make me scared. More damage. Characteristics of each handle increase according to your character's default abilities. Oh, I know how scaling works. Now lying. I just noticed that instead of now loading. Has it done that every time? Bet it has. No one? What was that sound? It sounded like a lightning strike someone right here. Can I jump and get you? God, there's a bunch. That's just a trap. That won't move, but we got at least three enemies standing around here. Alright, well that one's gone. <laughs> Not quite far enough. Two. What? Oh, I don't have enough. Fuck. I was trying to do my uh, special guard parry, but I think that takes two, or maybe I timed it wrong. I think it only takes one bar, so I must have timed it wrong. Felt like I was early, if anything. Can't even trust your lion eyes. Yeah, this game's that fucking good. another sound of thunder or something. Hey there. Come on down. Because I'm imagining you have some friend there I don't want to meet. So I don't know where. Found him. 
shit for a second. I thought you were just gonna stand there and let me get you. Shit, come on, timing. So you can't mash parry. Because I'm pretty sure the second time I hit block on his thrust attack, my timing was correct, but I had just let go of it a moment before. They don't let you mash parry, which is fair. Hello? That one sounded smaller and nearer, like someone throwing an attack. What in the fucking what? Is this the petrification disease? Petrification disease sounds awful, and still it somehow undersold this. What the hell's going on with that? Tiny shortcuts in this game. Very, very kind shortcuts in this game. Have we been looking for the baby? We're in City Hall, so we are now, yeah. Fairy window seems really tight. It feels pretty tight, yeah. Floor shadowing. Yeah, the lighting effects are good. Sehr gut. No one immediately apparent. Big guy immediately apparent. Let's go this way first. No one. Rat News, issue 1124. Mr. Vanini's ambition to make a jolly police mascot puppet for City Hall ended in failure. His passion to make a trustworthy friend for the citizens and a strong officer who overpowers criminals was in the right place, but turned out to be excessive. The new police officer puppet's overcharged storage battery exceeded its capacity, causing chain explosions, malfunctions, serious body damage, and you can't bring it on a plane can lie on batteries. The city council recommended disposing of the puppet on the grounds that its appearance intimidates visitors, but Mr. Vanini and the taxpayers protested, halting the council's plan in its tracks. The puppet still lies abandoned behind City Hall to this day while the lawsuit is ongoing, waiting to be part of a boss encounter. Whose job is it in this burnt, fucked up, ruined city to, like, lay out these old newspapers in the right places for the nearby enemies, by the way. The interesting thing is, even when the puppet is unattended, it performs a number of its mascot roles. It is especially popular with kids, and it even appears to react and respond to the playing of children. However, it has led to more slum children entering City Hall and causing inconvenience to visitors. The city council is considering exhibiting the puppet only occasionally, as a means to restrict entry and really fuck over the poor. Will you be my friend? Everyone is gone. I'm all alone now. P, you don't need to invent things. I can read everything it says there. I know you're uncomfortable with this sort of, like, mashup of human and puppet and dog, but, like, I like you well enough. You don't need to try and make your adventure more interesting. Deaf and intern. Are you sure there isn't a Dark Hydro in you that's a venture capitalist from the 1800s? I, I, I like to think not. 0% APR financing. Yeah, but that's, that's like a 1990s capitalist there. Hydra said he hates the poor in a character voice. In a character voice. Hello. How do you feel about this? You do not give a shit. Okay. Set you right down on that ass. There we go. What are star fragments again? I'm getting so many of them. Oh, no. Hello? No survivors here. Oh, it's a baby what puppet. Do do? Just give her that baby puppet? I think the baby puppet is for her. Is that not what she referred to when she said baby? I want you to do the bit, okay? Fair. When I picked that up, I immediately went, oh, of course it's a puppet. We give her the baby puppet. When she said baby, she meant a puppet. 
Gemini's making me think she didn't, but we're still gonna go back and give her a puppet? Like, here's your baby. How is that gonna go? Hang on, maybe we go on to the next Stargazer since we've killed a bunch of enemies. Maybe there's a Stargazer just a little bit ahead and I don't need to refight these things. I guess I only need to refight like two things in this courtyard. I think no survivors means she meant a real baby. Now we lie. I don't know. We'll go back in a second. I'm just wondering, is that a Stargazer or an item? That's probably an item. Hey. What are those little point lights up there that also aren't doing anything? <laughs> Look at how pathetic that is. <laughs> Poor people didn't want me to cut their heating, they wouldn't be poor, giving me intense Fable 3 flashbacks. Oh, I said Fable 3 earlier. That joke was supposed to be just Fable or Fable 4 or whatever it's called. Fix that in your memories. The next Fable. The one coming up. I know Fable 3's out already. Damn it. Why'd only one cop have a baton? No idea. Her baby isn't a puppet? I mean, it seems like it is. Use a star fragment of the cracks calling next to the boss area to summon a specter. It will help you... Your character in the boss battle. Okay, we're gonna take her baby back to her because this is apparently a boss battle. Not another stargazer. Away we go. I only have 1158. Let's test that thing that lets us return. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's under my quick things. It's hold A, this. No, okay, that answers the question. Got it. When do we get the baby? Just now in that courtyard of the uh, city hall. All right, she was... Oh, they actually show me. Nice. And the quickest way to her was down this way will take me too far back. Um, actually, no, this is fine because I have that other shortcut. Yeah, yeah, I think this will get me there. Yeah, the game has some really cool quality of life upgrades like that, indicating close to Stargazer, etc. That's a really good QOL, it is. And now I think we want to go down this way and around. I think so. How many enemies are there around here? There's one by that cart. There's one. This is kind of an annoying area. This uh, shortcut makes it better, but it's kind of an annoying area. Can I set this off? Come on. Yep, there goes that guy. I've got other problems now. Can I parry a dog? Perfect guard is what I meant, and I think that was one, yeah. I didn't take any damage, it must have been. Is there anyone else down here until we turn this corner? There is not, but there... He didn't respawn again. Okay, so those more powerful white-coated ones don't respawn or something. Like, generally. I don't even need to set you off. There's a bunch of enemies here to worry about, though. Who I believe should all come back. Am I right? Or not? Where's the dog? There it is. 
Not sure I needed to walk. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong area. This is the kid who's sick. I need the fucking, ignore me. You never saw me. Where's the woman? Ignore me. <laughs> Completely misremembered which window I was going to. Also, what was that sparking a second ago? Is there one of those hidden butterflies around here? Where's that sparking? Huh, okay, whatever. Hmm. Watching Liza P is nice when you've been stuck in a boss for two days. If Pinocchio is Geppetto's son, is he technically a bastard? I would like to say no, why would he be? But on the other hand, the build I took is literally called Bastard. So, you know. Oh, hey, there's something to read here. I totally missed. Warning petrification. Oh, I did read this. This is from the other side. Oh. Here we are. I have your baby, I think. You found her. We're in luck. Night one. I could sense her from miles away. Oh, my sweet Elena. Please let me hold her. <laughs> what timing for us to put out our, like, fucking arm, then? My baby. <laughs> Let me hold her. You probably mean this pretty Thank cool so fucking... Oh, your baby. Right, right. Sorry. What do you think? Is my baby adorable? I... Oh, she's so cute. That's right. Kind one, you've granted me my only wish. Now, puppets can be cute. Dolls can be cute. That's not necessarily a lie. Elena, we're going to be happy now. Also, what is her accent? She keeps saying Elena, to my ear at Thank least. Thank you so much, kind one. Please accept. She agrees my it's a baby. Heartfelt. Wrap your hand around my homo sapien shoulder. Feel and vivid ergo fragment. Your springs are reacting. <laughs> records you obtain while playing the game can be played using the gramophone in the hotel. You can listen to music on the records to obtain humanity. Wait, what? Close your eyes, dance the night away with me. I'm so... We need to go back to the hotel right now because I didn't really understand that. Is that a real thing? You, do you say anything more? Nope, she's happy. Okay, I got a record to listen to. I'm also healing Elenor. True, you didn't say she's a cute baby human. Ah, yes, we can reverse hollowing with the power of music. I think it looks a little dark if turned off Gemini and streaming. Well, you're the first person to make me care about how to figure out how to turn that on. All right, hang on. Hold up. Everyone was being punished because they were trying to give me hints when they shouldn't, but I do want people to be able to see. It's not up. It's not down. It's not left. It's not right. How do I do this? Back? No. Uh, X's item. Dodge. Oh my god, what's it gonna be? Y is ability. How do you turn on a lantern? Fuck me. Oh, <laughs> increased brightness upon use. Cool. Do not be afraid even if you get lost in the fog, the cricket guide will be with you. Oh, that actually covers a lot of area. That's so much better than light is in most other Souls games. 
more effective, not better necessarily. Uh, in brightest day and blackest night, something to set my stream back right. That's a spell, isn't it? What JoJo typed? It's Green Lantern. Oath? Is it the Oath? Or is it just part of the Oath? Anyway, they say it a lot. Uh, I came back here to listen to music. Records you obtain while playing, you can listen. It says the same thing as before. Check records in possession. Feel. Few details. Close your eyes, give me your hand. Uh, dance the night away with me, everything will feel better. A song that quietly comforts the dark. Feel a voice to accompany you in the sadness of night. Close your eyes. Come to me. Feel alright. Just dance with me all through the night. This is a DMC risk. Turn it off. Close to you. I feel good. Cause I just don't feel like a room. Give it to me, baby. I feel like you need a snifter for your Pepsi. This is classy. It is. So humanity isn't like a mechanic in the game. This isn't. This isn't doing anything mechanical, is it? Got it. No, actually, I'm kidding. The music's excellent, but I have bosses to kill. Love the music in this game. The records are so good. That's a beautiful song. I like how it keeps playing as you when you leave the record player too. Twenty. Good shit. Good shit. Okay, boss time now. Alchemists are the brilliant scientists, doctors, and engineers of this generation. They seek truth based on their own culture and religious precepts, and they won't stop at anything to obtain. They seek truth based on their culture and religious precepts. That's literally true. I hope that's not their goal. Those are the kinds of things you should be aware of, not affecting your search for truth. But okay. Love that the collectibles are actually cool things like music instead of just an extra thing to do. Are other puppets becoming more human because we got the aux cord? <laughs> Maybe. Let's go see if they still attack me as vehemently. Can I get just like one of you? Thank you. Mm, they don't seem totally changed. I'm sure he's having a real internal struggle right now, though. Ah, I let go of it a moment early. Because I was so upset with myself for not getting what I was going for. The perfect guard. We can leave you alone. Perfect. Do you come back each time? Yeah, but I'm going to leave you alone. Perfect. Alright, Samantha. Should I see what it's like getting help in this game? Is there anything interesting about that mechanic in particular? Or should we go ahead and take on the boss on our own? Thoughts? Oh shit, Liza P. Day number one indeed. Live dangerously, P fully. You have to listen to its entire thing. I have doubts it has any mechanical benefit if I do. 
Hunter. Why not just see how it works? Play how you want to play. Let's see how it works once. Come here, you. Investigate. Do you wish to use a star fragment to awaken a specter? Sure. You use the star fragment. Is this going to be a player or an NPC? Or is it going to be nothing? Okay. Wake and bake. Thank you so much. Or Jess, thank you. The, dude, the follow notification came up so immediately after. My eyes just transferred. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, everybody. My name's Arx underscore Hydro. We're starting a boss on Lies of P. How are you doing? Hope you had a fantastic stream, Jess. Oh, he was built with a big happy mustache. Maybe we can swing from that up onto his back, and that's creepy. Oh, I don't want to get onto his back, actually. Wait, this is the thing they said was made for community outreach, and the kids loved it. What? I would have loved this as a kid, but don't let the kids near it. Scrapped Watchmen. Oh, there's a specter listed on the left. What's... Specter! Who are you? Oh, God. Dude. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, shit. Not the lantern. Heal. Hang on. I need a handle on this real quick. That's an unblockable. Okay, blocking multiple attacks in a row is a bad idea because it resets your whole, like, regainable health thing. Hey! That was scary. Get. Rude. Hang on. How about fire, you f Leave him alone! He's just a ghost! He didn't ask to be here! Sorry, Spectre. Oh, okay. I got the timing. I'm getting fucked. Shit. This is my moment. This game's so easy. This game is so easy. Hell yes, welcome to the stream. Let me help you find the follow button. You're gonna to wanna to see what happens here. Game's so, I missed all the loot again. I didn't see any of it that time. <laughs> Samantha, I can't say enough nice things about Bug Catcher Jess. I know many of you have heard them before, but they bear repeating. Bug Catcher Jess, fantastic streamer. A lot of her streams right now are working through Red Dead Redemption 2 for the very first time. It's a very big game. You're not about to beat that, right? You're still playing that? Go give her a follow, both those of you over on YouTube and here on Twitch, at twitch.tv slash bugcatcherjess. That's J-E-S-S, just how it sounds. Thank you again, Jess. That's very, very kind. I appreciate it. First try, GG, GG. The specters are AI, not players. The way they loaded in, I assumed that, but thank you. It's good to have that confirmed. Interesting lore-wise, makes the fight a lot easier. You'll miss out on the real fun of boss fights when using the Spectre. Who scraps the Watchmen? You're still playing it. Yes, doing Forza today, though. Wait, Motorsport or Horizon? Well, that's a fun change-up. I hope you had a good stream. Followed as soon as I saw the boss health drop. I mean, that's our third boss, and I one-shot the others as well. It's not just because I had a Spectre, but that did help a lot. All right, give me my healing potions back. I imagine nothing's about to attack me in the middle of this now empty boss arena, but just in case. Ah, friends. Hey, do you want to carve a mess of our a message of our friendship into a tree? No. Let's scratch it into the floor of City Hall's courtyard to really stick it to the man. Faded whistle. Faded whistle. What is that? Game? 
Wait, what are you? Overcharged storage battery, Legion Arm core part. Oh, the scrapped Watchman's central core. Legion Arm with intense power can be crafted by Eugenie or the Venini crafting, uh, craft machine. The plan of Kratz City Hall's Watchman ultimately failed. The Watchman, the storage battery, had swelled and back had bent. Yeah, I had a tablet the battery swelled on. Didn't go as badly as the Watchman, though. The storage battery had swelled and back had bent horribly, became an angry judge, and swept through Elysian Boulevard. Want a good boost on your day? Pop on her stream and ask for a yeehaw. Warms the heart. <laughs> When summoned to the Spectre in this boss fight, the boss just got cornered and couldn't do anything. Just speedrun RDR2 in 10 minutes. She's tracking her time for Twitch in her second playthrough. Battery Edema. I've waited for this playthrough. What's up, Mattress Table? Good to see you. That's a fantastic screen name. Just killed Ludwig the, the Beast Claws. It's a crime this weapon is in the Chalice Dungeons. How is Liza P? I'm really enjoying it. Literally no complaints so far. I'm only a little ways in, but I'm really having a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What other new stuff did I get? Core, P organ. Yeah, this game has P organs for everyone that just joined us. I literally don't know more. I can't tell you what that is. I missed the explanation. Key part that can activate the P organ. Activating the P organ allows quartz to be equipped. That's good. That sounds less sexual. The P organ is the quintessence of the brilliant craftsman Geppetto's puppet skills. Rare parts are necessary to develop a device like that. It's going weird again. And over here, here we are. A faded police whistle. It's been worn smooth from use. The children blew the whistle for their friends. He may have been discarded as a failure, but in those moments at least, he was the children's police officer. You're not going to make me feel bad for that thing now. You missed that chance. A shapeless toy. This is small wooden officer puppet. A shapeless toy carved from wood and painted over. It has the strange appearance of a hunchback, but it was obviously made with care. Winter, abandoned by the adults, the children let go of their childhood to survive. I literally didn't get that sentence. Winter, abandoned by the adults, the children let go of their childhood to survive. Two readings didn't help. Spring, the broken police puppet accompanied the children's whistles and restored the children's laughter. Summer, the children made Murphy by carving wood and... <gasps> Murphy, we can take this back to the kid. Fall, Murphy, who received Murphy as a gift, never let go of it. Let's take it on back. Sounds good. Sounds good. Have you met children? I've met a child. Lies of P is a game that truly immerses you in the day-to-day -day life of the average child worker in Britain circa 1888. I'm reading a book about England during the um, turn of the century, 1800 turn. It's about the Luddites. Fascinating. Hang on. I'm, I've got a lot of... We should level up first. I got a lot here. Helps if you read that line as narrator in an old detective black and white movie voice. What book is that? Uh, Blood in the Machine, a new book by Brian Merchant. I'm about halfway through it and I'm really enjoying it so far. What's really interesting is uh, one of his sources was written in like the end of the 1800s by historians, by historians, but they did all their research. And then based on his description, they decided what they, like I haven't read the source myself, but they wrote a narrative fiction but all the people in it are real, and most of the events can be corroborated. And in fact, they even interviewed people and are probably using some real dialogue, but they invented other things? Very weird. Anyway, he makes a note at the start, like, just so you know. But it should all be reliable. Yeah, real person fiction, but it's not quite fiction. That's neither here nor there. Point is, blood in the machine I'm enjoying. Also, everyone that just joined us, I periodically have to raise my chair because the gas cylinder in it is going. But don't worry, I overspent on a pipe wrench to fix it later. Welcome to Sands, you're gonna have a good time. Stay quiet and we'll fuck you while you try to walk through traps. Thank you so much for the gift sub. That really helps with my expensive pipe wrench pur uh, purchases. I also got more argan oil for my hair. Vanity and stupidity went together on these purchases. I mean, it's shampoo. I need shampoo. 
Uh, you were marked on the you thing. Saved Geppetto. Yeah. So you've got things to say to me. Got it. He's I see how that works. Floor. He can hardly wait to see you. I'll use my power to help you. Five K. So we've got enough for three levels. Am I still getting plus three every level? And just load on the fucking damage. Go for it. Just keep it on going. Got a shampoo. Pipe wrenches also double as hammers and personal protective equipment. Oh, his message deleted? I missed it. I don't know. All right, where's Geppetto? Through that door we couldn't open earlier. Well, hello there. Investigate. It's a cat. Okay, investigate. But my shoulders. You can't fool everyone. Yeah, why buy health when you have perfect guard? Why? Puppets and cats, natural enemies. I mean, puppets are always dragging string along around them. It antagonizes the cat naturally. Hey, Geppetto. Oh, yeah, for anyone who hasn't heard about this game, uh, we're Pinocchio. Real quick. We're also Timothy Chalamet, but younger. That's how it goes sometimes. Ah, uh, you've returned. Forgive a sentimental father for worrying about his son. Forgiven. Always remember that you're precious to me. Even when I ask you to do something dangerous. Okay, sounds manipulative, Speaking but which, sure. There's a factory just beyond the Lycian Boulevard. It's packed with countless puppets. My friend, the inventor Vinini, went to stop them, but he never came back. Please go save him and shut down the factory. Uh. P organs are the source of your powers. Collect quartz to get the strength you need. Okay. Remember, the hotel is the last safe place in Krat. It's our only refuge in a city full of perils. It'll be extremely dangerous if anyone has ill intentions. Be careful who you tell about this place, especially if they're stalkers or alchemists. Be wary of dangerous people. And always be a good boy to me. The way that um, Sophia was talking earlier, I thought this was like a refuge of stalkers. At that point in my mind, I remember thinking, so stalkers are hunters from Bloodborne, and this is the hunter's dream. Be careful what I tell stalkers about the hotel. Use the P-Organ slots to activate your character's latent abilities. Equip Quartz on the P-Organ to obtain its corresponding effect. If you equip Quartz in each of the slots in a single group, you can gain the group's synergy effect. Each time the synergy effect of two groups are activated, the next step is unlocked. You can get a greater variety of effects as you take your P-Organ to higher phases. Oh, fuck off. Okay. Two quarts. I see. Uh, phases, synergies, gotcha. Increase pulse cells. Add fable slots. This is hard to do with a D-pad, never mind that. Increase the staggerable window. That's not bad, but... Link dodge. Enables another dodge in the middle of a dodge motion. I should probably just learn to dodge at the right time. Plus heals and fable slots sounds interesting. Give me, uh... Let me see. Let me see. I'm actually not totally taken with any of these, but... But... Give me plus heals. Select. Oh, and then I put... Wait. I see. So, using the slot 
gets me the pulse cell, but I also get something based on what I put into it. Is that what I'm looking at here? What's happening? Enhanced charge stagger attack. Enhance the attack of fatal attacks. Enhance the attack of fable, uh, fable arts. And the stagger duration. Wait, increase stagger duration. But that's what the other node does. So quartzes and the nodes you put them in might do the same thing? What in the hell is going on? I don't totally get it. I don't totally get it. For each quartz, you get a thing, and if you fill all the slots for a thing on the chart, you also get that thing? That does not help. Hmm. Hmm. Filling both slots equals pulse cell, but you get an effect each time you put a single quartz in. Okay. Gotcha. And I have to decide what I commit the quartz as. Pomegranates, can I change this later? For free or cheap? Or is it impossible and or expensive to change it later? Z, if you can still hear me, by the way, I literally don't see a message deleted at all. I'm not sure what you mean. Hmm. You can respect this. Okay, good to know. Pretty far down, yes, but it's not expensive. All right, so let's just do something then. Charge stagger. Uh, I don't use charge attacks too often. Fatal attack is... That's when you backstab or you stagger hit someone. That's not bad. Fable arts, maybe. Stagger duration, maybe. Guard regain recovery. Fatal attack pulse cell. Wait, what? Discharged pulse cells charging upon a fatal attack. Okay, lower damage when discharged. Lower damage while dodging. Charge legion when eliminating enemy. That's for my... That's actually not bad. I don't use it a lot right now, but that's partly because I'm worried about overusing it. So... Hmm. Perfect guard fable charge. Charge fable when perfect guard is successful. Increased durability recovery speed. Charge attack stamina consumption. Uh... And this is the arm. Legion magazine effect... Ergo upon eliminating an enemy, that's not bad. Consumable possession limit, throwing object possession limit. So let's just go ahead and get some more experience. And let's do... Uh, charge legion when eliminating an enemy. I feel like I chose some real basic options, but I see the value of those. We'll take those right now. Cool. Do I come back to you anytime I want to work on that? Is that the idea? Of Krat. It's probably not how you remember it, eh? Ask me any questions, and I'll fill in the gaps. Apparently not, but we have things to learn from him. About Vanini Works. Vanini Works is the puppet's main base. It's a factory where they manufacture more of themselves. Vanini himself went to stop them, but I'm worried. He's an industrialist, not a fighter. Rescue Vanini and shut down his factory. That will deny the puppets their reinforcements. About St. Frangelico Cathedral. The cathedral is famous for its wise and kind Archbishop Andreas. He offers sanctuary to countless refugees there. Sounds like a lot of people who are going to be dead now. I've lost touch with them. Perhaps no news is good news, but I'm a suspicious sort. Not in this kind of situation. And if the puppets push towards the cathedral, it could be devastating. Go save the Archbishop and the refugees before it's too late. Typed it out and it was in chat for me. Maybe YouTube is being weird and I'm being too pissy. Well, like I said, I don't see a deleted one, but moreover, I don't have any mods on YouTube. It's just me and I haven't tabbed out. So either it was an automatic thing by YouTube if a message disappeared and I don't know how to deal with that. 
or it didn't happen, but there was some visual glitch. Sorry about whatever it was, but no one deleted anything. About Malam District. I don't know what's happening in the Malam District. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood seized the neighborhood. That's all I know. Who? It was always a run-down neighborhood, but it's descended into anarchy, or worse. Worse than anarchy? I'm hearing rumors of monsters rampaging through Capitalism? The Those poor there we people. Go. Got him. Well, we're Enjoy on the edge with these time. jokes. Now, I'm not sure everyone's going to be able to handle these hot takes. <laughs> About Rosa Isabel Street. Rosa Isabel Street is a stronghold of the puppets. It's a hunting ground where the most dangerous puppets roam. I believe it's the epicenter of the puppet frenzy. After all, I detected the strongest wave of ergo there. Especially for someone as precious as you. It's a perilous place. And when you walk a dangerous path, my son, it's best to take it one step at a time. So we're a beautiful, lithe young man with very sexy shoulders. And our daddy is this guy with a very pleasing voice. He's worried about us going out and calls us precious and so on and good boy. The designer's intentions are shining through. I don't mind. It's fine media. Probably top chat versus live chat on YouTube or something. It certainly could be. There is that automatic filter. Malam District is the section eight of Krat. Uh, that's everything you had for me. Can I just change my abilities in here or something? I wonder how you I get can back to get that. From City Hall to the factory with the key I just gave you. Thanks, Dad. Vanini gave me that key, and now he's missing. Rescue him if you can. I'll do my best. To change abilities, you sit in the chair. In the chair. Here's the chair. All right, cool. I wanted to look before I accidentally closed it. Uh, no saved shape memories on the device. Okay. Interesting. Um, let me take a look at this menu again. Did I like unlock something about phase two or whatever? Phase two must be activated. I thought when I did, that doesn't matter. We'll figure that out later as we get more quartz. It's fine. Geppetto's VA is Morgot, such a cool voice. You got anything else in this nice place? So you should put this fire out before you die of smoke inhalation. Uh, did you check this? This is for show. That is not a functional fireplace. Have I got a brain? Or is that not about puppets? <laughs> Whatever. Type, type, type. No, we're not saving anything. Our Resident Evil game here. More got no kidding? That's what Samantha says, and I tend to believe them. They love VAs, and so they usually know a few facts about them in games like this. It's futuristic fire. Don't worry about it. This game is so much like Steel Rising in the very basics. It seems like a crazy coincidence, as they both had to be in development at the same time. They came out so near to each other. They have a lot of differences. So far, I'm liking this a lot better, but this has a lot, a lot, a lot in common with Steel Rising. I picked up traces of high-powered energy originating far away. That's one mystery solved. What do you mean? Why don't we make a Legion arm with it? Oh, the thing I brought back is what you detected. Got it. But when it comes to Legion arms, but I'm pretty sure I can make one. Please, please help me the out. Puppets get fried easily by electricity. If you use an electric legion arm, it'll make your life easier. Fulminous. Uh. Switch legion arm. Puppet string or A to change. Fulminous. Electric blitz attack. Scales with everything but technique. Powerful electricity accumulates electric blitz, discharges an electric shock. Lightning has been interpreted as God's authority and fury since ancient times. Now God's fury descends to the earth and it is being used to destroy steel monsters. I'll try it for the look, but it seems like we're going to do way better. It's very fun colors. Way better with the other. Oh, real quick. Do these have different things here? They do. The different levels do do different things. So those levels are unique to each arm. 
Nice. I didn't pick up enough stuff to upgrade anything, right? You're going to the He's the richest oh. man in Krat. A little eccentric, maybe, but a good person. Okay. I you just said he's rich, though, so. Down. Hmm. I hope he's safe. I wouldn't want to lose my best customer. That's why you like him. Got it. I know my way around a weapon. Um, there's some new talk stuff. Let me do this first before I forget what I'm even doing. Okay, let's do talk. I don't have any of the materials. About Vanini. Mr. Vanini is the richest man in Krat. His company manufactures most of Krat's exports. He's, uh, peculiar, but a good-hearted man. Even though he's rich, he treats every employee with respect. I heard he went to shut the factory down. I hope he's safe. I wouldn't want to lose my best customer. Never look too closely at that fireplace. My curse is looking very closely at things like that and forgetting the story and the controls. Welcome to the stream. You can afford respect. Foul puppet smoldering with the flame of ambition, my meager ergo. Oh yeah, I can kind of hear it. Now I won't be able to unhear it. Let's head back out to them streets. We're a puppet made for them streets. Oh no, to the little boy. But that's on the streets. Inside the house on Elysian Boulevard, away we go. Coming to this game after playing Bloodborne, it really is steampunk Sekiro Bloodborne and I'm so down for it. I'm having a great time so far. The feel, which is the most important thing, is basically right on. You know, the more I play of it, I, I do think it has uh, more Sekiro feel to it in the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay than Bloodborne or Dark Souls or Elden Ring. But uh, those aren't dissimilar games. If you like any of them, there's a good chance you'll like this, I think. It's great. Not at once. Oh, right, I have Fulminus now. I was trying to, like, pull him to me a second ago. The dog's getting up. We're in fucking trouble. Come on, fight me before the dog shows up. You are too slow. Alright, so it's like a short-range shotgun blast of electricity, it feels like. Where's that kiddo? Where's that little buckaroo? Where's that rapidly petrifying young man? Come through this. I dare you. I'm not supposed to leap out of it that readily. It's electricity, it should be stunning you or something. The important thing is, can I avoid fighting those dogs that jump out of the windows and everything? Which, by the way, get back into the house and repair the windows each time. If I don't walk too far down this street. Yes, I can. We're in luck. Right next to one of the ladders, I remember that much. You are correct. There's a ladder right there. <laughs> Sorry to show you that face in so much light. Have you ever played Hollow Knight? Yes, I love Hollow Knight. I have highlight videos for my first playthrough of Hollow Knight over on youtube.com slash at rxhydrohighlights. I kind of want to replay it though because at least one major patch with like new versions of every boss uh, added to the game, I think, came out since I played it. If only we could play together like we used to. Murphy, I miss you. Uh. If only we could play together like we used to. Murphy. I miss you. Wait, uh... Huh? Where is it? What? Wait, did I give it to the kid? Pomegranates, did I just give it to the kid or not? Where'd it go? No. Where'd it go? Where's the pop? Where? You still have it. Oh. Uh. If only we could, Murphy. I can't give it to the kid. 
I can't? Why can't I? What's happening? I was so sure that's what I was supposed to do with this. Um, okay, just in case it makes a difference. Let's kill that dog I was talking about. Didn't dodge far enough. Can I go in the broken window and find that kid or something? What am I? It's a very dark room with no doors out of it. Wouldn't even be helpful if I did get in there. If only we could feet. If only we could feet. All right. There was an item out on there. I don't think I need to go there. As long as I'm here, though. I'm wondering if, like, up top there's something absurd, like, oh, just toss the little doll into a chimney. Or something. So we'll check on that. No, okay, as expected. Why can't I give it to the kid? That's weird. Huh. How's the storyline so far? I've been super curious about this game, but until now, none of my favorite YouTubers seem to be playing it. Um, I've only got the real basics of it, but it's fine. We are Pinocchio, created by Geppetto. Geppetto created the technology for all of the puppets now rampaging through the city who seem to have lost their fucking minds. No one quite knows why, or at least has revealed to me why. I clearly haven't lost mine. I seem to be something more human than the rest of the puppets in more ways than one. Uh, yeah. That's most of it so far. Yeah. Hoping we might do Red Dead 2 for Sundays, but I heard Liza P is good too. Dude, I, at one point I'd written off Red Dead 2 as being clearly a very popular and great game. Probably not something I wanted to play, but I have the itch to play it at some point, having watched a good deal of it. Let me shout out again, Bugcatcher Jess, who's playing it for the first time right now. Find her at twitch.tv slash bugcatcherjess. And is Bugcatcher Jess on many platforms, including YouTube and TikTok, where you can see beautiful highlights from Red Dead 2. Well, funny highlights. It's not always beautiful. There's a lot of falling in the blood, uh, blood spray, but very funny. How's it going, Hydro? Very well. Managed to jump in after my first computer repair lesson. Nice! I hope the lesson went well. Okay, I guess we're going on. Oh, wait, I have the whistle. Wait, wait, wait. Do I use the whistle? I just respawned all the enemies. That's not the puppet. It's showing the whistle. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Perfect stealth. I'm a ninja. I need to go the other direction. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Bro? Oh, come on. That's totally understandable that I would have thought it was the little puppet of his friend Murphy. That's the description that had all the shit on it. Totally understandable. You gotta go through a lot of shit to get there. I'm getting good at running this one alleyway. Lords of the Fallen, is it worth the $70? I would say maybe not, but I've not beaten the game. I'm probably not even halfway through it. $70 means a different thing to different people. That's hard for me to say with how little I've played of the game, but I would say probably not. Might be a lot more worth it on a sale. Might not be worth it. I am enjoying myself, but it's got a lot of weird, annoying little bits to it. All right, where is that whistle? Is it under usable, collectible, select, use. So we can use things in the collectible screen. <laughs> That sound, 
Is that you, Murphy? Murphy's dead, but I got a doll for you, kid. Oh, fuck, lie, lie. You're supposed to lie. It's in the name of the game. God damn it. I know that whistle. It must be Murphy. <sighs> Thanks for coming by. I want to play, but... I feel too sick. I, I don't think I can. I miss Zack and Sophie and Eric. I wish we could all play. Radiant Ergo Fragment. Is the doll not for you? Are you dead? Is the Ergo Fragment I just got my experience for defeating that child? You killed the poor kid? Well, at least I'm gonna level up from it. What just happened? Haven't played, but $70 is fucking robbery. I mean, I'm in favor of games being as cheap as the studios can get away with. But I wouldn't be surprised if 70 really does take over. They've been saying it for so long and it hasn't yet. So I'm hopeful it won't. But I wouldn't be at all surprised. You know, adjusting for inflation that like, I think it was sometime in the 90s, games were equivalent to being like $150 each today. We've had it good for a while. I hope we still do, but we've had it good for a while. And game studios are laying off hundreds of people left and right this year, so. Okay, Um, where am I headed? What am I doing? We need to go from Hotel Krat, I believe, because, or actually, was this a dead end or am I heading straight on from this? I believe Geppetto gave us a key. I'm guessing we're leaving out another one of the doors from the hotel into a new direction. But I'm not actually sure. Was there a door here you gave me the the uh, key for? Looks like I'm not going that way, but I'll check. I never walked in this little space. Is there anything here? Yes, there is. Vanini's Guide. Dear citizens of Krat, the factory has been occupied by the puppets. I've done this voice a lot. We could give Vanini the... Uh, the uh, French voice people liked. If I can remember how to do it. Dear citizens of Krat, the factory has been occupied by the puppets. Whatever the cause, Venini Company is responsible for it. I, Lorenzini Venini, I know, a very Italian name, but I grew up here in Gay Paris, am going along to stop these devils. The factory is very dangerous now. Stay out of it and keep safe. The rest I leave to Mr. Geppetto, whom I trust more than anyone. God save us all. Regards, Lorenzini Venini. The Frenchman's back, yay! Anything hidden down here? No? Cool. Robot Heaven? Who's the Robo God? I think it's Geppetto. Maybe that's part of the purpose of the you can get this game three days early for 10 extra dollars thing. It shows who's willing to pay 70 for a game. Maybe. I fucking hate that. I do. I don't blame people for doing it, but I hate that. I did it for Mortal Kombat 1 because I'm a weak, flawed human being, but I hate that. Robot Prometheus. It's a great voice. That's amazing. Nicely done with the French accent. Thank you. Hello. That's bleak. It's not even raining. Here it is. Vanini works. Everything you see here belongs to Vanini, the classiest playboy and most brilliant inventor in Krat. Just ask him. Not just puppets. Almost every machine and tram in Krat is supplied from here. You gotta be curious about the guy. What kind of person is he? Capitalist. We could find him. This should be owned by everyone. If he's still kicking. Vinny sounds like the kind of person who'd charge $70 for a game. 
can't tie all these together. I should stop trying. <laughs> all these different threads. Uh, buy the miracle medicine here. The miracle alchemist Clark Shore, also known as Dr. Cureall, has succeeded in making a cure for the horrible plague that has spread through Croft. Made from unicorn horn, blood of a two-headed snake, and boiled down mandrake. Clark Shore, you're just giving away the recipe? Clark Shore, well, where are people going to find a unicorn? That's fair. Clark Shore has tested it himself and confirmed that it completely cures the plague. The blue plague is not a divine curse. Don't be afraid anymore. Come see Dr. Carol, Clark Shore. Prices may vary as it is a limited item. And how many unicorns have you seen? Um. You okay? Little girl? You look like a little girl puppet. Are you dangerous? I bet you're dangerous. Okay, I'll be down to see you later. Maybe I should have let her get all the way up so we didn't have this awkward pause in that fight. Hello. What are you holding in your arms? That looks like a rotating saw or something. A circular saw. Ooh, there's a big guy down there. Oh, that's a thrust weapon. I don't like them. I don't love them. Fuck it, I'm going onto the roofs with that girl. Hopefully it gets me a drop onto one of those big guys later. Star fragment. Hmm. Place definitely looks cured, uh-huh. Little sister Bioshock flashbacks. Oh, hey there, guy. Good thing I came up here. Motherfucker! Okay. Okay, we're fine. For the moment. Oh, it's horrendous down here. A ladder, a ladder, a ladder and a hope. A ladder and a hope. A little, don't see me, please. Put your one red eye. Okay, we're good. That scared the hell out of me. Some Dark Souls 1 energy to it. What's up, Daxi? Good to see you. Get wrecked! I don't think he comes all the way over for a plunging attack. Are you alive? Uh, what was that sound a second ago? Hm, doesn't matter. You don't appear to be alive. You are, oh, but there is one right there by that tree. You, I'm giving you one more chance to come over here. Let's wait a second and see how close you get. I'm ready to do a run jump if I gotta. Didn't work last time, but I'll try it again. I'm going. Shit. Oh, and stuff's being thrown at me. Fuck off. Shit. Tain. Ah, uh, early on that again. Damn it. And then late on that a second time. Same as the first. Okay, now that you've arrived at the location where you can see me, you can die. Uh, that could have gone a lot worse. Could have gone a lot better. That could have gone a lot, I thought that was a robot, uh, a puppet hanging from the wall for a second. That could have gone worse. Hello, little crevice. It's important for the puppets to have realistic screams. We're trying to sell these to customers. They need to be human enough to garner sympathy. No, I don't know why either, actually. That's horrific. I'm still bothered by that scene in the Animatrix with the uh, robot screaming to be left alone. Oh, hello. What the hell? You spit things up? I thought I heard something a second ago, but I didn't see you at all. Some new kind of elemental damage, possibly. Um, onward. Every single playthrough, that one spot. Visceral attack sounds so good in this game. Nicely done, thank you. Hey, uh... 
that is shorter range than I thought. You do you can't even earn all your health back from one of those guys if you block them. They don't hit you enough times. You can't block that, I imagine. Why did I try? Fuck you. Hang on just a second there. You hit your friend. Oh my god, there's three more. Well, we made it to the factory. I thought that alarm going off was like a warning the door was opening behind me as I fought them. I'm glad I was wrong about that. We miss any loot back here before I go further? Gemini's emergency protection. We could drop down and have gone from there. What's over this way? Kind of feels like I'm doing a shortcut or a uh, stargazer, right, game? Eh? Eh? Hey? A phone? that doesn't appear to be a trap. No. Not allowed. I'm just allowing that. You're at least you're self-aware. No, actually, I think that makes it worse. Now, you know what I'm called, and why I called you, and I want to know your name, but not till we're through. For as soon as I learn that's one riddle burned, and I do love a mystery, don't you? <laughs> now, only the living solve riddles, as everyone knows, that's a must. When your city is so full of puppets, it seems are about fit to VA is making a meal of it, but I like it. Time for the riddle. No more waiting. We thank you for participating. <laughs> By morning, it walks on feet, numbering. Man, this is the riddle of the Sphinx. Do you have the Towers of Hanoi for me also? That's a very popular one in video games. You laugh, but I've seen streamers with no idea what this riddle is talking about. That's fair. I could absolutely see not hearing of the riddle of the Sphinx before. But I literally read it. I mean, I've heard of it many times before, but I literally reread the riddle of the Sphinx like three, four days ago because I've been reading Greek mythology. Some keys and keys and doors and doors and keys and keys. No, that's not one of the beatboxing things. Okay. Trinity key uh, ring? Or no, that means collectible. A key obtained from the King of Riddles quiz. This key probably unlocks something. The Sacred Triangle was some organization's secret mark. Rumor has it that this organization was Krat's true master. Pick up receiver. Only hissing static, the phone is disconnected. All right. Fair enough. I love this guy. Yeah, if you hear it, it's hard to forget. A Trinity. Greek mythology. Sphinx. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, Greeks took a lot from the uh, Egyptians. A lot, a lot. I heard this only as an offhand comment from a lecture series in Ancient Egypt I was listening to, so it may reflect the person's biases and they weren't trying to present like a perfect analysis of history. Like I said, it was an offhand comment. But an Egyptologist 
a history professor. I was listening to a lecture series about ancient Egypt from, listening to his lectures, hang on. Uh, mentions offhand at one point in his lectures that, you know, we always think of, oh, what we think of as Western civilization as sort of drawing its oldest roots back to, to ancient Greece, and we love referring to Greece and Rome and Greece and uh, philosophy and all that. Um, and in his opinion, Greeks very often are like, oh, we got it all from the Egyptians. Though he also mentions he's not quite sure what they mean because they have a totally different religion. The Egyptians really didn't have any advanced mathematics or anything. Their philosophy was pretty fucking simple. So... But they got the Sphinx from them. Krat Illuminati confirmed. Sounds like Joker agreed. Reminds me of Joker. Yeah, it reminded me of Joker too. Head out for real this time. Oh, I think that was a while ago, but this is this. Sleep well, sweet dreams. Have a good one. Sorry I missed that message until now. If you can hear me or catch this on the VOD. Saying only the living can solve riddles is discrimination. Some of my best friends are zombies and they're very smart. Egypt and Greece are literally just across the water from each other. They shared a lot of culture. Classics, interesting. Greeks must have gotten their movies from the Egyptians. Vanini works foggy day. We make tomorrow. And you've got a really overwrought sign. I don't think those things are even doing anything. They're just turning to turn. Yeah, that really fast one. What is it even touching? Hey, Stargazer. Zoom! I should touch that to get my potions back, shouldn't I? Can I open this door? It was blocked on the other side, so I doubt. Yeah, no, no, no. Giant guy, yeah, there's enemies all over. Let's get our let's get our heels back. Electric Blitz is effective for subduing puppets. Get out if you're not a stalker. I've got electric blitz on my arm, but it's pretty fucking weak. Chain? Chain. Chain. Can be swung powerfully, inflicts strike damage on anyone in the area, and spins around enemies that it hits. Sometimes the simple is most effective. Spins around enemies is interesting because I've noticed that even when involved in combat, you're allowed to backstab people if you're in the right place. So, spinning them around could be super useful. It looks pretty. Let the sign be. What else are signs for besides drawing attention? That's a good point. Fair enough. Actually, there's a lot about Gnosticism here. Chain of Fools. The animation is similar. Now that we have a moment to talk, yes, you must understand, the city is on its deathbed. Hey, thanks for believing in me. The petrification disease spreads too fast. Okay, I might not solve that with a sword, true. Everywhere. But I'm taking care of that second half. Nobody knows what caused the disaster. Everyone in Krat is just trying to survive. Maybe someone else could be playing That's another game right now. Where they're like trying to manage a hospital system, you know, like what's it called, two point hospital or whatever, and take care of the plague. They do the puppets, they do the plague. The power of Ergo, power I used to call on you. Well, call on someone to solve the plague now. Third person action can only do so much. Is so much is what I'm saying. Save Krat. I'll try. I'll use my power to help you. Damage. Plus five. We're getting diminishing returns. It's happening. I know my way around a way. Still need more moonstones. Still need more fucking moonstones. No idea where you get those cranks. But stats mean nothing. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'll be fine. So we're headed into the factory. And moreover, I now know how to turn my lantern on. So we actually have, you know, like light in the game. Um.
I think that means we can finally roleplay a schoolboy on a school trip to see how the Vanini works go. Oh, it's, it doesn't really light the front, but there we are. We're a schoolboy. Wonder if light affects enemies' abilities to see you? You know, I bet it does, just because otherwise, why wouldn't you just have it on all the time? But I don't really know. I've got no actual evidence for that, either way. Dim, ergo fragment. If it was whole, it would be much brighter. Oh, hello. Uh. Oh, hey. You're like early models or something? You're pretty tough for early models. How did I get that visceral hit? Salamander dagger blade and handle. Salamander? Commander Oleander and the... Oh shit, what was it? Coriander salamander. That's it. Technique! Ah, uh, it's more about advance. Physical and fire attack. That's cool. Tell me about it. Dagger blade designed to make ergo generate overheat. An ergo power source that emits heat is embedded in the back of the sword. The salamander symbolizes fire and purification. In that regard, the dagger was created for a special purification ritual regarding alchemist defectors. Gross. Cruel. A dagger handle made by the alchemists. It was made in the shape of a snake, biting its tail. Following the same principle as the dagger, there are some alchemists who can expel great heat from an ergo heart. These Baptists, who possessed fire abilities, called themselves Simon's Fire, the Purifiers of Truth. Very culty. Hmm. Backstab iframes for the win. What's the English word for this atrocious thing you have over your shoulders, by the way? I actually am not entirely sure. A, a, a bib? A, a, a kerchief? Samantha, what would you call this? I'm like a schoolboy. Hang on, let me give you a better view for one second so you know what we're talking about. This kind of collar or thing I have tied around my collar with the square bit. What is that called? A dicky, but I know that ain't right. Yeah, it, that's in the same area, though, of words. What the fuck is the word? Did you mod for the dog mask? No, that was given to me at the start of the game. And I don't know why. This was given to me. I didn't buy this game. I didn't, like, pre-order for this. They just, they just, maybe they, they, maybe it activated my webcam and the game just said, you deserve this. I don't know why I have this. It looked at me and it went, you should, I don't know. Must be a part of the update. You think they put out an update just to add this? Why? Okay, I'll go with you though. This is part of the update. 1.3 patch gift, unobtainable in base game, free accessory given through the most recent update. Oh, that is the explanation? Okay. I don't get it, but I like having it, it's fun. Sure. Okay, how do I do this whole fucking area? Because I know you're active too. I don't have any of these to throw. Please come all the way away from the other robot. Dude, I could have sworn I was on time that time. Fuck, shit. Mm, early. Give me that, give me that. I didn't get the iframes before I got hit once, but I got the, you're not dead. I'm stuck in him. And damn, I'm gonna attack too many. That wasn't good. Sawtooth Weevil failed to have all normal stuff. All pretty normal stuff. You can go in this direction, too. Once again, I've got no idea what's sort of, like, forward and what's just... Do I need to lower this? No idea what the side route is and the main route. 
We'll go the other direction, though. Got secrets, so I can't say. I appreciate you keeping those secrets. A neckerchief, similar to what Boy Scouts wear still? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Neckerchief might be the closest word for this abomination. Neckerchief, a flap collar. Literally everyone's reaction to seeing that. How far can I go in another direction? How much time can I waste before I must face this thing? You look active. Oh, you're not. You're in pieces. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. It's like something's gonna jump out any second. Yeah, it usually does. It's okay, pal. Gemini's looking out for you. Hi. Oh, no, thank you. I'm all set for having things thrown at me. I'd prefer not. <laughs> he whiffed completely. Shit, jumping back didn't help. He throws from my chest, not my feet. I dodged! Late, clearly. I dodged! Fuck me! I was thinking about my overheat status. We're gonna die now. Oh shit, I have no heals. Okay. Damn it. These, like, simpler ones are tougher. They must be the factory worker versions. They're not made to look, like, friendly. They're not primitive. They just don't care what they look like. And it's hard to stagger them. Jiminy, not Jimmy. Okay, Jimmy. Flap collar is def my favorite. Exist to flap and nothing more. Do you hate Gemini yet? No. Kind of like Gemini. Uh, can't interact with these. What's the item I just got? Cartridge developed by the Belford Superior Workshop. It also has an additive that alleviates status elements. Once again, more weight, but only by a teensy bit. And in fact, actually, my weight limit percentage has gone down. Maybe the armor change? This will give me shock and break resistance. Okay. I want to change my arm back. I know they just told me shock is good against puppets, and I'm fighting puppets throughout this whole workshop, but I miss being able to, like, hookshot enemies. Uh, dear Mr. Vanini, as per your orders, I conducted a quality investigation. That's me deciding on a voice rapidly there. I conducted a quality investigation on the ergo supplied by the alchemists. Of course, it was done secretly. Certainly, the quality of the ergo was getting worse over time. I don't doubt the alchemists, but the decrease in quality is too widespread to call it a coincidence. At this rate, this quarter's puppets will have a high chance of defects. The most important thing is the quality of the ergo, after all. According to a reliable source, the high-level alchemists are running ergo production experiments lately using another method. Personally, I think their secret experiments have something to do with the de decrease in ergo quality. Are they wringing out the bodies of discarded puppets in the barren swamp or something? Anyway, I recommend approaching them carefully instead of complaining to them. Manager of Factory 1, Nicola. Supposed to protect the uniform. This game is pushing Hydro's range to the limits. The worst part is if Nicola shows up again, I won't remember what voice I did. I won't recall. Oh, I thought I saw a ladder over here. Wait, no, no, I did. It's here, it's here. Get me up off the factory floor, please. Oh, hello. You don't have a ranged attack, do you? Oh shit, there's one of the tough ones on the floor, though. Oh, this should get, let me get back at that one. There you are, you fuck. Get out of here. Revenge acquired. Oh, and we got a heal. We earned a heal for that. Uh, let's go get this guy. Here from this side where we're further from this one. all there is to do up here. 
there's a wall there, so I can I break glass just out of curiosity. You ever hide anything like that where I need to break the glass to get through? I can't see through it. Yeah, okay. I wonder if this game will have any, like, you know, illusory walls at any point the way Dark Souls games do and stuff. I kind of doubt it. It would stand out as being quite odd. But it's not impossible. Kind of feel like you're gonna drop something on my head in here. Uh, like that, dude? Yeah. Okay. Well, at least it's gone. Uh, I can't go around this, can I? Okay. Um. Food day. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Happy Sunday, hope you're doing well and had a fantastic stream. Welcome to the stream, everyone. I'm playing Live Speed for the first time. I'm very nervous about jumping down here. How is your weekend going, friendos? What's up, food day? Good to see you. First time I made it to a stream, almost done watching your Dark Souls 3 VODs and the vibes are immaculate. Oh, thank you, Pokegame, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you continue to enjoy. Hey, oh, it doesn't have any weapons. So this will take a while, but it will be easy. I hate the way this looks. I wish it wasn't aware of me. I've got no heals. Oh, this is gonna be awkward. Shit, 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 shit. I mean, I can't do anything about it. It's staring right at me. Let's go. Ugh. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. Anywhere else I can go instead of fighting you? You're not even a boss. Come on! What do you want from little old me? Get. I forgot there was a follow-up to that even though it happened like seconds ago. Hey, what's up, Felity? Good to see you. Sorry we all abandoned you earlier. I apologize. After I left, I was like, oh, Felity was coming back. I remember times this has happened to me. This sucks. Hope the rest of your afternoon was good. The start of your evening. He is the wall. Thank you for noticing my dog head. We're wearing a dog head in a schoolboy uniform. Feldy, have you seen the main character of this game before? Oh wait, let me take off the glasses too. The glasses are weird. An old man made us. He had taste. Has taste, he's still alive. We've met him. Use the ax on your shinobi prosthetic. An old man made us? I mean, it's true. That's just true, that is true. Recharging heals feels nice. Yeah, it does. I wish it happened faster, but it does feel good when it happens. Okay, this time around. I don't know, but it's gonna go better. I swear to myself, it's gonna go better. Can I get around that, uh, fall? If I just, like, jump, can I? Yes, I can. Does that let me skip anyone in here? Because there's still like a whole floor of, uh, I guess I can drop down over here and I'll be far enough away I won't get the attention of many of them. Nice, nice, works. All right, so we have an easy run back to fight this guy, but hopefully I don't need that. Hopefully we just win this time. I would like to go get my air go. Shit, you really track. I thought at a sprint I would naturally be able to dodge you. I was wrong. All right, here we go. What you got for me? Ah, oh, I tried to do the second time, but that was early. Mm. Oh, 
545? Wait, through your block and everything? Oh no, that's just total damage. Not what that hit did. Fuck me, man. I didn't have a follow-up last time. Can't learn! Shit! Aww. I can't learn. Nope, no, it was on. Timing. What is that? Every time you do that, what is that supposed to be? Shit. Oh my god. That wasn't attack any time previously, or was it? That didn't hit me any other time. Let's go again. <sighs> Dark Souls with Sekiro. I wish the blocking was a little bit better, but I play on keyboard and mouse, which makes it challenging. Oh, I immediately defaulted to controller. Playing on keyboard and mouse is impressive. Well done. I do think you're challenging yourself. But I hope you're enjoying and thank you again for the raid. I've been pretty pleased with the blocking so far, but mainly with the sort of like the rally mechanic on blocking like Bloodborne has, but it is more limited. Like Bloodborne's not being limited. So I'll take this. Oh. Take that salary man puppet. Why were you made with suspenders? You probably don't even have bits. Why would you have been made with them? Why do you need pants, guy? I thought only Mad Men played Souls games on PC. I'm playing on PC. I play them all on PC. I've only played the Demon Souls remake on consoles and Bloodborne, because you have to. Otherwise, they run great on PC, generally speaking. Difficulty spikes in this game are crazy. I just feel like I need to get... I, he's not going to be hard. I just need... I got to get the basics here. I just got to get the basics. It's a regular fucking enemy. I can do this. I can. I've got it in me. Just need time. Damn you. I lost even the one I could do before. Shit, you were already starting one? I was trying to prompt one by doing that. Charge me. I'm ready to try again. Charge me. I got the second. Got that one. One. I got one of those two. Hell yes. Yeah! Oh, that could have done a lot more and it would have been fine. That could have done so much more. <laughs> One. Got that. It. Early on those. He's nearly dead. Please die. Thank you. Legion Caliber. The workshop's correction device. Correction device? Explain what you mean. Oh, I have a new document too. Correction device. Found only at the workshop. Legion arm can be modified with the Vanini craft machine, the workshop's correction device developed to raise the hardness and density of Legion arms. Delicate devices like this require consistent maintenance. So this is going to unlock another Legion arm option for us. Hold it together, resist the slams. Sentient door. 
I was found this game was relatively easy, but there's certain enemies or bosses that were just harder from the rest. So far, I would not call the game easy for me, but it's been easier than my experience with Souls games and Sekiro and so on. But it's not easy. Either way, I'm enjoying. This is, this is great thus far. Oh, could I just run up here the entire time? I ran to the center. I didn't even look. And we beat him. Come here, you. There we are. A motivity crank. This is where they come from. I don't want a motivity crank. Okay, but now we know where cranks are acquired. Ooh, thermite. I do like thermite. Another stargazer. It's an upgrade for the arms you have. Not easy for sure. Found it weirdly accessible, though. Yeah, so far that sounds like a good assessment. I like that way of saying it. Electric Blitz Abrasive. You know, I bought one of those early on and I forgot to ever even try it out. An Electric Blitz would be nice in here. Maybe I should do it now. Should I go back and check what's the other direction from the previous Stargazer? First of all, do I have enough to level before we go down with that big thing? But we saw that big thing and then I turned around and I haven't found it again yet. Where is that? Hey, what's up, Brendan? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Game forced my hand a lot, I felt like. What do you mean, forced your hand? Not sure I follow. Uh, where's our level lady? There you are. I'll use my power to help. I appreciate that. Did I even bring back enough for a level? I brought back enough for two. Three, five. And we're still getting diminishing returns. Damage, damage, damage. And upgrades. I've picked I up more moonstones, I feel like. I have picked up enough. I have, I have, I have. Wintry Rapier's Blade 3 will be another plus 10. Good shit. Good shit. Okay, fantastic. Back out there. I had to switch how I played and fought constantly. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Did you enjoy that or did that annoy you? If you love the current weapon moveset, you can combine the coil blade with the current handle. A handle is determined the moveset. Yes, and the scaling. I should go look over the abilities and whatever that the other uh, blades give me. But on the other hand, I've also upgraded this to plus four and haven't upgraded the others at all. So you enjoy it? It keeps it fresh. That's good. Sophia's moving around. She is. Um. Okay, I came back here to go this direction. Annoyingly, I already killed this big guy once, and I've condemned myself to do it all over again. But I have more damage this time, so maybe it will go better. Maybe. Late, late, late. Can't hit me, it's not allowed. Dude, you just continue your animation while I'm doing that. A lot of times, viscerals will sort of shock enemies nearby in these kinds of games, giving you a moment of safety afterwards. I, uh, it was too much of me to assume that would happen then, and it did not. Okay, so I didn't come down here earlier because... Yep. Let's go see what this is about. Puppet of the future. Okay, it's a boss. What's it? I'm getting corrupted. Wait, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I don't like it. <laughs> Leave me alone. I can't stand in poison and fight him, can I? How much health you got? Yeah, you got a lot of health. I can't do that. Look at how rapidly I'm losing health. Oh my God, it's going faster now.
Oh, I need to be near this knee. Oh my god, I lost my chance. Not great. Fucked up the dodge, and I can't... First death to a boss. Third death, fourth death overall? Fifth! I died twice to the big wall guy. So that's fifth or sixth death. First to a boss. Rough. I told them earlier, anytime I sense that someone's trying to give me advice, I completely ignore what they're saying. I apologize, but we're not here to take advice. We're here to fail and die. And I'm good at it. I'm very practiced at it. Corruption occurs when corruption damage builds up. Of course. When the status effect triggers, your character's kep continuously drains. Use a purification ampule to remove status ailments. No, I, I went with race the boss down. I wonder if there's any way to drain that. I'm hopeful because you could drain that from a boss in Dark Souls 2. That was years ago, but I have a glimmer of hope. Maybe I can drain that. Let me go look at the boss arena again. Do you have better job mods? Don't say that to the mods. I know it's a joke. I'm not assuming it's not. Mods do a generally thankless job, and I appreciate them immensely, so let's do what we can to make their lives easier. Is there any other way out of here? Is there any way to, like, lower the, uh, poison level or something? Could I just steal this and leave? What is going on in this arena? Booster, glaive, blade, and handle. Huh. Uh... Hidden Moonstone, that's good. Hmm. God, I'm really slow out here. Time. Health time. Getting behind him time. I want to see at least the, uh, the, like, deadly fatal strike thing if I can. That's why we came back. It wasn't to find out if there was some way to lower the poison. I need the animation I lost last time. I need it, Samantha. I earned it and I didn't get it. There it is! Sweet knee surgery! That didn't do enough to give me hope for this, though. On the other hand... We just might... ...cheat our way through this boss fight somehow. It is possible. I say cheat. Suffer? Just suffer our way through. Can I beat my corruption back to the save point for safety? Rushing for the stargazer. Anything to save one item, I'm sure I'll have fucking hundreds of by the end of the game. Yeah. Easy game. Easy game. That was def hard mode for the fight. That boss seemed too slow to be that threatening. It was just the poison I was really worried about. That was fine. Didn't even need to get rid of poison. Nice. Way to strong arm it. Easy game. They really ramped down the difficulty. It's like I'm not even playing the game. No one should ever have any respect for me. Gaming is about suffering. Lies of P is a one out of 10 now. I can't believe they absolutely neutered it. There, I saved everyone typing them. My first time was in the poison swamp as well. Use your moon necklace to fast travel, whatever. You're talking about the one that kills me? Are you trying to kill me? 
Not to diminish your achievement. I, I didn't figure you were. I was just playing off the title. No worries. Oh, wait. I can teleport to a different thing. Why am I here? Why am I still here? Hang on. Hang on. I forgot I've already gotten the next Stargazer. Shit. Is that wall guy going to be back? It doesn't matter. I can run past him. They don't respawn anyway. We're fine. I already have the next one. The one from Sophia doesn't kill you? I don't remember that. But okay. Here we are. We just took the hard way here as well. Do you have any different weapons? Yes. None of them scale currently with my chosen stat of uh, technique, however. But I can swap the blades for different benefits with my handle, and my handle determines the scaling. So, we could make them scale with um, dexterity. Thing is, I don't have enough items to upgrade any of the other like blades to be as competitive at the moment. I really invested in this one. Who needs weapons when you have a pokey? Didn't realize you could use it until my third playthrough. Digging the game so far? Yes, very much. I'm liking it quite a lot. Let's go this way. That looks like more corruption. Where am I? And who's waiting to attack me here? Okay, we have the requisite enemies buried in the swamp area. We got a big guy there. Thoroughly unpleasant. Very, very unwelcoming. Easy enough so far, though. Easiness continues. We are going to have to get poisoned fighting that guy, though. I should probably put resistance ampules on my quick items. Oh, hey, that one has like a, a Napoleon hat. I don't know what they're called, but that kind of hat on him. That head. Why'd they throw out the clothes with the puppets? Usable items. Please replace the sawtoothed wheel with attribute resistance enhances resistance to all those things what cures it purification purifies a puppet's attribute status removes overheat electric shock decay and corruption okay so that removes it this increases resistances I wonder how good increasing resistances is let's try so we know roughly how fast it built up before, now that I have that on. Uh, I mean, that's notable. That seems like 50 to 100% slower, which is nice. Oh god, I woke up the little ones too. And they're spitting. You wanna come all the way back here? And not make me stand there and get poisoned? I was hoping they were going to separate a little bit. Fuck off. Fuck you. Hey, perfect. Alright, I'm ready now. Shit. I knew that was coming, and I still didn't, like, wait a second so I'd be free to block it. Why am I doing charge damage? To him or something. Why is it blue? Did you just stagger me? Rude. R wrong thing. This. There we go. Lantern back on. What am I doing? No, lantern back on. Select the top item. Fuck, man. I can't get used to this upper belt and lower belt setup. Not used to it. <laughs> Laundress puppets, tricorn hat equals Napoleon. Never mind, that's different. Tri equals three, bi equals two, Napoleon's is a bicorn. Oh, I've heard of tricorn. I 
had forgotten or never heard of bicorn. Gotcha. Yes, his is bicorn. You're right, corn fiddle. Could be right. Shock status amps DiMaggio. Hello there. Who do you think you're fooling, huh? Who do you think you're hiding from? Who do you think you're fooling? Where's this red light coming from? It's a glitch. What's happening? Is it just straight up a glitch? Weird. Is there a red butterfly around here? This is a hideous place for me to chase something. Okay, they're coming out of the fucking tubes. Not now! Okay, we're good. Leave my ankles alone, you freaky. You freaky little things. I, you know, I hate it. Stay away! Ugh. I think we're safe. I think we're good. Hmm. Gemini senses danger. He does that when he senses the red butterflies, which are like loot lizards in this game. Crystal lizards. Unfortunately, you're only told that after the first one shows up, and if you don't go, oh, a butterfly, I should kill it, you lose it. So I lost it. Do you have absurd damage? What's your tech at? Uh, 25. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else down in this little dead end. Also, what did I pick up from that thing? I wasn't paying attention. I got an urgent repair tool, but that was the item on the ground, yeah? What did I get from the butterfly? Rapier's at plus two, right? Plus four. Oh, this really looks like a Soulsborn. Jesus, I'm pretty good at games, what can I say? Pretty good. Oh my god, I should go spend that before I die. I'm pretty good at games. It doesn't really worry me. I gush for this game. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Apparently gushed is a new piece of slang used in Counter-Strike 2. At least according to my friends Mondo and B-Man. I don't quite know what it's supposed to mean, but apparently Mondo, Mondo passed on to me. He was like, I was playing with them and they were all like, oh, he's gushed. Get him. He's gushed. I'll use my power to help you. Hydro. Pretty good at games. He gag. Oh, I'm 27, actually. Oh, we're really getting very little from leveling this up now. It used to be reliably three, then it was off like three or two. The next three levels are all two. Let's get to 30 because it's a nice round number. Then I think we're probably going to start buying Vitality again, but... Let's get to 30, because it's a nice round number. Um, how much is a level now? Just over 2,000. And how much are the ergo items I've been picking up and not looking at? 100, so that is 2,000 right there. 300, so that's 3,600 right there. 500, so that's another 3,000 right there, and 2,000. So we're carrying a lot. Let's use some of those. Uh, 2,800. Use all these to 5,800. And 300, that should be almost exactly what I need for one more level. I'll use my I also picked up a quartz you can spend. Nice, good for me. Oh, did I misread? It was 2,000, not 6,000. Why did I have 6,000 in my head? I, I don't know what just happened inside my mind, but I'll take two more level ups. I'm risking a little now, but it's fine. I know my way. Did I pick up anything I can use here? I've got three hidden moonstones. You take crescent moonstones, however. Now, what is this weapon? This weapon, um, I can't read about it here. Actually, I think I could have cycled through and done it, but this is just as good. This scales with technique. Hello. We have a new handle, hand blade. Patient slash. Gather your strength for a powerful slash attack. Hold the attack button to trigger a stronger one. And I skipped over the blade. 
Uh, sure. Why? What? Huh? This does more physical attack. It charges pulse cells better and charges fable better. It must be a very slow weapon to be better at all these stats. It must be very slow. Must be. Storm slash. Rush forward quickly to slash multiple enemies. This must be a very slow enemy. A, a weapon. It looks big. Tell me about this. Tell me what it can do. I'll give it a shot. This scales with technique? I know sure. my way around the So let me see here. If I boost the glaive blade, I can do it twice. It's gonna be it's gonna, it's gonna be worse off than what I have right now. But we can try it. Yeah, let's try it. Fuck okay. it. Who cares about optimal? Let's try it. And I can equip both at once, or does that ruin my weight? Oh, that does ruin my weight. Or am I slightly heavy right now? Hang on. 55. 80. Okay, I do count as having both them on them. I now have now I'm heavy build. That's bad. 300. And this is more like. I mean, yeah, that is way better. Well, let's try it. Sure. Unequip this. What is slightly heavy like? Mm. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. I'll use my power to help you. Appreciate that. Uh, I didn't mean level up. I'm trying to teleport. Why am I even talking to you? Who am I even talking to? Workshop Union Culvert. Try the Fable Art is slick. Workshop Technician Eugenie has virtually no memory of her past and no family either. She's mainly interested in weapon crafting and one particular stalker who rescued her during the collapse of the Workshop Tower. I'm assuming stalkers are just people who took up arms and fought the puppets. I don't really know. I wonder how long the city's been under siege from puppets like this, even. Games do like to associate glaives and lucernes with decks, although how much of that is a glaive or a straight-up broadsword with longer handle is up to debate. She sounds puppetish. She needs to figure out how to Google this bit. What's the second number next to your weapon's damage? Oh, I think the second number is how much it's scaling from the associated stats. Though actually, if you were looking at the comparison screen, it may have just been the difference between what I had and what I now am using, and I hear it coming. Is there more? Yeah, they just keep coming, okay. Interesting. Hmm. We'll go up top. We'll go up top. play video games. Hopefully not the other type of stalker. You didn't warn him? Oh, no, I didn't. I watched. We're getting loaded up with hidden moonstones. I'm going to be able to go upgrade this again soon. That's not a real door. This door we're on the wrong side of. I wonder if shutting off all those rolling up, like, you know, dangers is going to be something we can do later, and it essentially opens up a shortcut back there, because, you know, then we can walk safely down that hallway back. Or down that culvert. Or down that whatever the right word is. Into more poison? Oh, thank you. So much. No, no, no. I meant to... Can I do this on the ladder? I cannot. There we are. Resistance is heightened. Oh wait, this is outside where I was. Wait, 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 I don't need to be here. Hang on. So, do I, I do have to go through those rolling motherfuckers? Well, we opened a shortcut that I don't need because it's back to a different um, 
Stargazer, but whatever. I thought at some point I was going to lower that height to get across. You remember when I was staring into that a while ago? No, we just have a different ladder down into the poison and then the first ladder out. Okay, so... You're not getting hit by it, so it is safe to stand on the sides, yeah? Apparently. There's an item back here. It does not look super safe to go back there. But I think I may have seen... Oh my god, I can't go to the side there. I need your spot. I need your spot. I'm so sorry about what's going to happen to you, but I needed this spot. You know what? You'll die to the next one. Is this too bold? You don't have iframes when you roll like that, I guess. I sort of assumed you did. Fuck me, dude. Jesus. There we go. Oh, what a good shortcut. I went to can't wait to come right back to this point. Uh, this looks like a long run, but I think I see my space up there. Is it guarded? Yeah. Where'd you get that? Jeez. Oh, that wall really tanked almost the whole thing. Vivid ergo fragment. Is there anything further along here? There is an item. Your drop down right there, that's how you're safe? So we can get beyond it. What do you got for all my troubles? What do you got for all my cares and woes? A fire axe. Oh, that's fitting for the factory. That's fun. Motivity, I imagine. Equally motivity and technique. The Krot Fire Brigade's close order axe blade painted red. It was crafted for versatility so that it can break anything. The Fire Brigade protected Krot with everything they had to the very end. They lost their lives, but their axes remain in the city as evidence of their noble sacrifice. The crop that see see the fire department gave everything they had to fight the puppets they died fighting the puppets heroes the police officer that we saw was a puppet fireman better than police just settled you know i doubt anyone had any doubts but if you were curious well handled strange the firefighters weren't puppets You'd think, to protect human life, you'd just make a fireproof puppet, yeah. An asbestos puppet. Be nice you had the choice to use two-handed weapons. Oh, what's that unknown? Sorry, I don't follow. Police are easily corrupted and thus were turned into puppets. Fire axe handle, the Krotz Fire Brigade's close order axe handle. The handle is long so that it can deal with fires in high places. You don't put fires out with the axe. The axe is to get in and out. Anyway, the axes were dyed horrifically with blood? Wait, hang on. They might have been stupid and horrific. Just a second here. It was not the blood of others, it was their own. Oh, wait, it, they're talking about the handle. Never mind, excuse me. They died holding their axes, I think is the implication, that's all. Also, I never read mine. Why is it like this? Who made this thing? A glaive blade assembled by a stalker by attaching booster equipment together. Because it's a blade taken from a giant cutting machine, it's heavy but forceful. The puppet frenzy birthed a generation that lost their families and swore revenge. Axel, who went to war with his father's paper cutter in hand, was no different. The handle of a glaive assembled by a stalker by attaching booster equipment. Booster attacks are tricky but fast and powerful. Not enough firepower? 
Just add more. A hot-tempered stalker's invention turned out to be more useful than expected and came to be used frequently among stalkers. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. Also, uh, we talked about Fable Arts and I didn't learn what these were, or... Rush forward to slash multiple times and the handle is... Gather your strength for a powerful slash. Hold the attack button to trigger a stronger attack. Okay. So, we have a fast rushing attack and we have a hold and charge heavy attack. Got it. That item description is a lot to take in. It is. <laughs> I agree. This school field trip to the local factory is not going like how I expected. I can't believe my parents signed a waiver for this. Ooh, admirers seem to follow me everywhere. Uh, hello? Are you the chaperone for this trip? Nice if you had the choice to use a weapon with both hands for more damage or single hands so you can use your arms ability. Oh, I see what you mean. They do let you break apart the blade and the handle. That's why all the descriptions are in two pieces and reassemble them differently. So I could take the two-handed handle and put it on the blade of my last weapon and change things up. But a lot more than just using it two-handed comes along with the handle. A lot more does. So it's not, it's not as versatile as you're talking, but you have some options I haven't explored yet. Thank you for explaining that. We got a fox lady and a cat. Okay, hello. Pleased to see you, my stalker friend. You made it all the way here, unbothered by rough- We have a voice! You've got talent. I've never seen you before, but who cares? And this we're very well accepting. This benefit our former client. Did you catch that subtle whiff of money in the air? Moneybags himself, Lorenzini Vanini, is inside- Oh, that was Catboy talking? This very moment. I didn't read the name. You caught us on our return trip. We had to deny his ridiculous request in person just to be sure it wasn't a joke. I thought that was us. All we could do was laugh. Keep your whiskers up if you're heading in there. He is the richest man in Krat. Or so they say. Who knows? Maybe he's handing out bags of money to lift his spirits. Ha! <laughs> that seems unlikely. No way are we doing that. Well, anyhow, best of luck. Okay, so you two seem, let's call it threatening friendly. You seem like you're here for your own interests. I like your outfits. Best of luck to you, my friend. Okay. Interesting meeting. It's the cat guy who just said it was a cat, right? I didn't read the name, I just heard the voice and it sounded masculine and I was like, oh shit, it's me. Lots of trauma in this game. The dog will hunt them both in the wild. Best of luck to you. Do you have anything else to say? Are you carrying the latest oh. edition of Vanini's Landmark Guide? No. It's the most popular non-fiction work in Kratz these days. Maduro wrote the actual guide, but Vanini published and financed it. It goes for a premium at the shop, but Maduro might not get his cut. He went missing recently, which of course made that volume more popular than ever. Mm, it's probably his literary agent's idea. Volumes collectors want, that you can get four. No, five thousand for it is the shop. But you're in luck. I have a conscience and a powerful sense of self-preservation. I'll let this one go for five hundred. That's a good investment. Don't sleep through it. You'll wish you had this, and the price is a steal. Let me know if you have any interest. Five hundred is pretty cheap. I have a feeling you're lying to me, but sure. Ripped Vanini's Crot Landmark Guide through. Did you bite this? Warning, this book has been banned. If found, please report it to the city. Thanks. This month's attraction, Rose Estate. There's a warning band attached that bears the herring symbol of Krat. Warning, this book has been banned. If found, please report it to the city. Reading banned books will result in punishment. Are you sure you want to read it? If found. Who put the banner on the book? Who put the band on it? Some uneven handwriting is here. You were warned, but you're reading a forbidden book. You're a bad person. Well, you're reading it. So this is what you get. 
The roses bloom at the Rose Estate. Then know the rest of it. The end. Reporter Cat. This guide was made with the support of the Red Lobster Inn. Did you think I wouldn't read this as soon as I got it from you? Like even flip through. There's one page in here. So, have you had time to read it? It's the first volume I wrote, so go easy. <laughs> By the way, I need to mention something before it slips my mind. It's a shame that the original author went missing, but I fear you misunderstood this commitment. I am willing to sell my newest book for 500. And I no fear you refunds, misunderstood my need for content. <laughs> given. I need but you to write a right second up. right now. I'll give you the money. The series is not easy to acquire. I'll do it. Get right. Get. Get writing. Hustled. I'm pretty happy with the outcome. I never read it. I believed him wholeheartedly. Red Lobster IRL sponsor. Big old chomp was taken from this book. How cartoonish. Best of luck to you. <laughs> Take care. You don't get torched. <laughs> All right, then. I think it's everything we're getting from them. On we go. Did you guys watch? Oh, you're up here. I just realized where we are. Did you see what I did? I'm pretty cool. I bet they saw what I did. That's where we fought the uh, future puppet or whatever it's called. Okay, so what was it? It was a... Uh... Nice. Shockingly doesn't stagger them on first hit. So unsafe, but nice. And the block was the heavy attack? It's definitely a shortcut. We can't go through this way. Probably had bets placed on you and the boss. The fox and cat trick you even in the original tale. How far does that reach? Um. Oh shit, right. It relies on... Uh, well, fuck it. I've got items. Which one of these restores Fable? Fable Catalyst. Oh, one at a time? How many of those am I carrying? No, I only have two more. I'll try and remember to test the range sometime later. Hello? Anyone this direction? No. We'll focus on you then. Ah, oh, come on. Never mind. Should have all come at once. Fuck off. No, no, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Damn it. Dude, you can't interrupt these motherfuckers. They're too tough for it. Is that the way down to the shortcut? I think it is. I got a weird habit of showing you shortcuts and then immediately you get to them. I did hear you a second ago, so I'm not shocked by this, but I don't love it. You gonna kill me with a shovel? Yeah, I think you could probably do that. Sorry? You're on fire. You weren't made to function that way, were you? That counts as like a charged attack. Putting them in range of visceral. Swordsmanship master's amulet and a hidden moonstone. I've got space for another. What happened to the first amulet I was wearing? Did I never equip it? Anyway. Reduces weapon durability consumption. Can be equipped on a puppet. Information memories, blah, blah, blah. Swordsmanship masters graceful movements. Largely reduced weapon wear and tear. However, there were extremely few puppets who could imitate him. Even when equipped with the amulet with the record of his movements. What's this other one I picked up and never looked at? Puppet Destroyers. It increases damage inflicted on puppets. Okay. Crush, crush, crush. The Executioner Puppet didn't know the reason or significance, but carried out his role. Good shit. Good stuff. Love this weapon. That's a nice range. Just altered my handle, then reversed it, and had to alter it again. Wait, did it let you? 
on Twitch. I thought there was like a cooldown to doing that. I assume that's gonna be what the enemies who doesn't respawn, so I'm tempted to go to go. Is this just a little dead end? I still have one heal. That comes with a charge forward. This weapon's really, really handy in many ways. Huh. Anything down here? Nope. Let's go see if I have enough hidden moonstones to make this weapon even stronger again. I can't interact with you, right? I can. What do you do? Sounds important. Anything change right around here? Okay, we'll find out what that did later, probably. Don't ask, you're shielded from that pain if you don't ask. There's a lever, so there is. Oh shit, how far back do I have to go? Also, which of these areas did I come from and which way was I headed? Well, I didn't come from this direction. Came from this one? Yes, I did. Oh man, this is an annoying run back. Hang on, hang on. I still have one heal. They've gotta give me a stargazer soon or other shortcut, right? my shortcut? Where is this? I feel like I recognize this area. Is this where I fought the giant guy? I think it is. Big shieldy boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I jumped down on there and then... Okay. Okay. Handy. This connects to... What does that sound? I think it's just ambient noise. That connects to my latest thing, right? It's kind of a bit of a run, but it's safe. Where am I going? It does at some point connect, doesn't it? Yeah, there we are, there we go, okay. Jeez. Go see if we have enough hidden moonstones. Either way, maybe we upgrade our whatever it is that lets us like, the weight limit stat more, whatever that one is. This place is kind of a maze, it really is. Sophia, where'd you go? Oh, hey. First things first. I know my way around a mm, we still only have two moonstones, so I overestimated how rapidly we were picking them up. Unfortunate. Well, stats it is. Though we probably only have enough for one upgrade. I'll use my power. Hotel Crotifornia. Which one is that? Stamina, Legion, and Weight from Capacity. That makes sense. Okay. Yep, I only have enough for one. That's so sad. All right, more Capacity. We're still the slightly heavy range. That didn't change anything. Oh my god, time has flown. Samantha, I think unfortunately we should break there. I'm not on the verge of a boss, so I don't feel like this is an unfair cliffhanger. You know the only bad reason? The, the only reason it's a bad idea to break here is because I, I've got like two or three directions I want to check in my mind right now, and I'm totally going to forget them before we get back to this game. But that's fine. We'll just fight too many puppets working my way back to those ends. I need to go. I got work tomorrow. But time flew. I like this game very much. I'll definitely play more of it. Play right through the end, I expect. 
However, not this coming week. Let me tell you the schedule upcoming because this week coming up now is Thanksgiving here in the US and I'll be going back to Maine to celebrate with my family. So we've got an odd week. I would normally stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Sunday, but I'll be gone from Wednesday right through until sometime the week after. So I may do an extra stream tomorrow. I may do Monday and Tuesday. I may just do Tuesday. Uh, either way, I'm thinking of doing chill holiday week streams to play a couple games that I really, really want to and I think I could beat in one stream. I'm talking about the 3D puzzle games Cocoon and Viewfinder. There's a chance I could beat each one in one stream. I'm not certain of that. And I may only do one stream. I haven't really made up my mind on all this stuff yet. But I think we'll probably do something like that. So I'll post in Discord. I'll also post, uh, you know, the stream ahead of time on YouTube. So keep your eyes peeled for that. They would both be at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern time, like my streams usually are, like today was when I started. Um, whichever days they happen. And then, yeah, Wednesday morning, I'm going to be heading to Maine, spending Thanksgiving with my family, and I'll be coming back the next Tuesday. So I won't be around next weekend either. Liza P's going to wait another weekend before you see it again. We're two weeks from its return. Uh, otherwise, what's coming up is the Game Awards are December 7th. It's a Thursday. They're at 7.30 in the evening, my time. We're going to watch them together if you are free and so inclined. We've done this for a few years, and it's always a really chill, wonderful time. I love doing special events like that. If you'd like, you can join the Discord, and I have a link to a Google form. It's pinned in general, and it's in the info channel, uh, where you can pr try to predict eight of the bigger categories, and if you are the most correct, or one of the most correct, you and anyone you tie with will win the video game Oracle title on Discord for a year. It does nothing, you get nothing, but people are jealous of your prescient abilities. I know they are, they may not say so, but I know. It's a fantastically fun little contest. We already have 30 people who have put in their predictions, which is close to twice as many as last year, so I'm excited. Most importantly of all, Thank you all so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I had a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, I hope you enjoyed the game uh, and the pipe wrench. Give me a second to see if there's someone else live on Twitch. We can go raid. It always feels better to send a bigger raid, better to receive a bigger raid. So please, please, please hang out a minute while I take a look through. Oh, you know who I haven't raided in forever, but is playing the new Super Mario RPG. This is the new one, right? Or is that not out yet? Is this the old one? No, this is the new Super Mario RPG. It's Hi Wang, who I know from the Something Awful forums. I've always enjoyed watching Hi Wang streams. Yeah, hang out for- You just got here? I'm so sorry about the timing, but I've got to rest. I apologize immensely. This is a good time to point out, if you want to see the VOD- I know it's not the same as live, I'm sorry. If you want to see the VOD, my VODs are now under the Live tab on YouTube. That is just how, when I'm streaming on YouTube, they work. So if you've been wondering, hey, where are the rest of the... I was watching them. They were all on the videos tab. They are now on the live tab. All right, this is where we're going. Let me go ahead and give you the raid message. One second. I was asked to copy this message, so I did. Hello, smile. There we are. Copy paste this message once or twice when we get over there. And if you have time, hang out. Check out High Wang's stream. Like I say, I've always enjoyed hanging out there. It's been a little while since I've seen what he's playing, but Mario RPG should be a highly entertaining game and I think you'll enjoy. Um, take care. I hope I see you tomorrow or Tuesday or once I get back from Thanksgiving vacation. If you're celebrating Thanksgiving, I hope you have a wonderful time with your friends, family, or even if you're just making a gigantic meal for yourself. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're all a delight and very generous with your time. Have a good rest, Hydro. Samantha, thanks, Varnathan. Thanks for being here. I will go get some rest. Stay sexy, Samantha. I agree with that. Stay sexy, everybody. Did someone win last year? Shoujo won last year. We've done the contest for two years. Diamond won year one, Shoujo won year two. Good night, happy holiday. You too, Peter. Thanks for hanging out, friendo. All right, here we go with the raid. Night, everyone.